Why, good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome to a very special episode of Cameron with an X. Tonight, we're gonna draw some pictures. I recently played a game called Chicory, A Colorful Tale, and oftentimes when I play games that kind of speak to me in a certain special kind of way, or honestly, just overall good games, feel good games, good music games, good platformer games, Last time, I drew some characters from A Hat in Time. I really enjoy that game. And today, I'm going to be drawing a character from Chicory, A Colorful Tale. Specifically, our friendly dog, whose name is chosen by your favorite food. Your favorite food. I chose in my gameplay Sushi Mac, because I'm a big fan of sushi. And a big fan of mac and cheese. Not necessarily the two together. But I do like sushi and mac and cheese. Excuse me on the stream for a moment. I'm going to add my reference picture to the stream. A picture of the doggo. Good evening, gentlemen on the motorcycles. I find this picture in here somewhere. Chicory dog. It's going to take up the entire screen for a moment. Yep, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. That's what I will be using as my reference. I don't want to put that behind things. Can I put that behind the... Yeah, that's perfect. That's the little guy down there. That's the... That's our reference. Or maybe better off over there. That's beautiful. I think that'll be perfect. Usually I'd label it as reference image, but eh. Whatever. I, for one, like to draw with a reference. That's what I've got. My camera here is a little odd. I'd like to apologize for that. Forthwith, there is one camera in this house which focuses, and it is the fisheye lens. Which is kind of odd, if you ask me, because I feel like if you're gonna be drawing, like if you like this this camera over here, this is the one we usually use, and for some strange reason, it does not focus. See this pencil? It's not focusing on it. It's fixed focus. It's only ever focused on everything back here, which works out this time because I might be actually using my desk like later on because I'm gonna be doing come some cosplay stuff too. Not cosplay specifically, but we're doing some work on some prop stuff for cosplay. Uh, I got a box down here that I'm gonna move out of the way. So I have more space beneath my desk to actually move in and do stuff. Anyway, I think we've listened to Blank Kymus long enough. During these types of things, we also listen to music from the game as well. I, for one, really enjoyed the music from this game. It was done by Lena Rain who also did the music for Celeste as well. And so as the song Blank Canvas would imply, we're gonna start with a blank canvas here, because why not? I'll admit, I usually don't do too much talking during these types of streams, so I really try to get into things. I see Spectre Knight hanging in the a, in a back over there. I'm gonna throw him out. Not throw him out, but throw him out of view. Okay, now I actually need to pull this picture up on my phone so I have a proper reference. You guys can see the one over, over on the screen, but I can't. I can't see the one. I'll admit, I'm a slightly bit, I'm kind of doing an impromptu type thing here. Because I got back from work a couple hours ago and I took a nap, had some din din, and had to set up all these fanciful camera angles. Fanciful as in like, Usually we're right over there somewhere, but now we're here and here, which is actually there. Oh, here, pointing at camera, pointing at camera. So it's right there. And he it. Now I've got my reference image pulled up for my own reference. Let's hope Google like actually, no, come on, visit the page. Yeah, yeah, visit that page. Thank you. I'd like that. Nope, wrong page, whatever. Or can I actually, I can actually download it to this device. There we go, I'm gonna do that instead. Download, download, open. There we go. I often catch myself listening to the relaxing music of Chicory when I'm doing just stuff in the house. I've been a big fan of like lo-fi stuff. Oh, let's move that out of the camera. Y'all don't need to see the same image twice, but I can put it over here. There we go, that's perfect, that's perfect. Anyway, now. We're beginning yet. We shall begin. And draw some 
draw some my, in my case it was sushi mac but in your case it's whatever your favorite food is what's your favorite food as i mentioned before i really really like sushi i'm not sure maybe it's the texture that gets me i like the flavor i feel like i was talking about it with somebody the other day right so i would say that my favorite food over over mac and cheese so it's mac and cheese or sushi and i would say that sushi trumps mac and cheese and this is why i say that sushi comes in all different shapes and sizes like you can get different types of fish hell sushi doesn't even have to have fish in it, it could be like avocado or like celery or whatever you may have this is gonna be way too big i often start out pictures way too large but like out of all the possibilities of sushi out there i feel like i'd like them all i've really never had sushi that i didn't enjoy from what i can tell not from what i can recall however i have had mac and cheeses that i do not like so i would say Statistically speaking, my favorite food is sushi because if if my favorite food were mac and cheese, I would like more of it than I would the sushi. But I really don't. Let me turn my music a little bit, change it up a bit. I can't hear it the way you guys do, so if music too low or whatever, if music is annoying, let me know. I'm not turning it off, but your thoughts are always welcome here. Your thoughts are always, always welcome here. No matter what they are. And if it's uh, if it fails the vibe check, like, critically fails the vibe check, then, then you know, then, then we'll take action. But usually, usually you're good. Usually you're good. I don't know, I've seen, like, it makes me think of, like, I've seen, I look at, like, Reddit and stuff like that, and it seems that there's a lot of like other streamy pe streamer peoples out there who like, like they kind of get like almost personally offended when somebody who's not really having a good day kind of pops in chat. Now, although that's not necessarily happened to me before, I, I sometimes like to think like, you know, what would I, what would I do in that scenario? And I, I for one like to think that most of what I like doing on here is just kind of like chatting around and chatting through things and. You know, relating it back to my own life, chatting about what's currently going on, like, if I were playing a game, I'm not playing a game right now, but you get the point. It's still gonna be too big. Oh my god. You know what? I think... I'm gonna go at it from a different angle. I'm a bit perfectionist sometimes. And although it was coming out okay, I just worry to go too far off the page. The worst part about a drawing in my humble opinion is starting that drawing once you kind of like get the flow going like i think it's easy because you, you got to set up like your perspective and your sizes and stuff like that let's see i want doggy ear over here i want doggy ear, doggo doggo ear over here doggy ear over here thanks i guess how are you how are you my boy I hope your day is well so far. Where have you been? Where have you been? Have you been snorkeling in the water? Perhaps not snorkeling? Good, how am I? It was a long day of work, my friend. I spent the entire day continually learning about things that I don't know about. I currently work. My current position is a firmware developer. Firmware developers are the guys who, they program, but like they, they program what's on the inside of your electronics, not necessarily the electronics themselves. Although that's a little bit of a misnomer, I suppose. I don't really... It's like, it's kind of like where the where the software meets the hardware type thing. And it, it's fun. I've always wanted to do stuff like this. My, uh, my second job that I had was very much like, oh yeah, 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 you'll do all these really, really awesome and wonderful things that you'll have fun with. But like, not right now. And I was like, well, that's annoying. And so I took that with me into my interview for this place. And they were just like, yeah, we all feel the same way. Like, we're here because we all want to, like, do stuff. Do stuff and do it well. And not have, like, 
upper level management were like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't fund that project. You're gonna have to stop working on it or we're gonna like fire you. It was like, oh, that's, that's annoying. That'd be bothersome. Let's turn my canvas a little bit. But so that's what I, that's what I do now. Do I know if Steve Buscemi has ever done that type of stuff? Steve Buscemi? I have no idea. He's an actor. I've been compared to Steve Buscemi before, honestly. There was once a, I used to do theater back in high school. And once upon a time, somebody decided, I don't know if it was a school newspaper or something, decided to write about how, oh yes, Cameron is a comparable actor to Steve Buscemi. And my mother was like, I take, per my mother took personal offense to that because she was just like, my son doesn't look like an old decrepit man like he does. And I was like, well, actually, I think Steve Buscemi is actually a pretty great actor in my opinion. And he's, a, he's a, done some very compelling performances. That guy from Spy Kids 2 and like a ton of other movies. You're linking things that I, you know what? I can look at that. It's a, it's a chill stream today. I can totally look at whatever those links are. Oh, look, do you think God stays in heaven? Because he too lives in fear of what he has created. You know what I don't have on right now? Let me, let me go to my, my capture box, capture screen. Oh, can I not like, where's the other one? Is it the same one? Did you send the same link twice? Why would you send the same link twice? Excuse me, I need to do a little finagling with my capture work. Let me add, let me add my browser source in here. We will turn it on and off as per, as per necessary. Uh, not that one, not that one. Oh no, it's window capture. I need my window capture. Window capture. Phone capture there, window, no. Oh, how about just, how about just like Chrome? Let's call it Chrome. Oh my goodness, well, you got it. There we go. That's your... Oh my god. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? It's Steve Buscemi. Oh, disgusting. Oh, goodness. Look at that. But yes, I do know Steve Buscemi. And he is indeed from Spy Kids 2 and a variety of other movies. Would very much recommend taking a look at that. Oh, look at that. Chrome is definitely not where it needs to be. Mm, there we go. Now it's behind. It's behind what needs to be behind. There we go. It's, that's fine. I think we've gotten a close enough look at that for now. <laughs> also, I'm not a big fan of Minions, although that is a very compelling... It's it's very... Oh God, it's so similar to Steve Buscemi. Jeez. It's scary. I'm gonna come back to this nose. I'm gonna come back to the schnoz in a little bit. We'll be, we'll be back. We'll be back. Was that an actual real quote from Spy Kids 2? I don't know. I feel like I doubt that. However, I do not have the wherewithal to attempt to prove you wrong. Yes, so it is spoken. So it is, and forever shall be. In the name of Bashemi, amen. What was I talking about? Sushi, I like sushi. Sushi's good, sushi feel good. Ah, this dog. Let's see, I wanna find where the, the, the schnoz meets the Let's draw his head. It should be a little above the schnoz. Let's start up there. And then, I don't know, make like a shape or something. I've never, I'm not a professional drawer. I doodle things. So like if proportions are often wrong, like whatever, man. Actually, that might have come out all right. That might have come out okay. Because uh, our little main character is kind of like looking up. Looking up at the world. Trying to be like, you know. But you may not know, so he's kind of like he's kind of like being like, "Oh my God, like I'm uh, I'm the, I'm the new like I'm the new main, main character, like I gotta do something about that." Main character powers activate. Swish swish swish. Paintbrush, paintbrush. Actually, do I have my paintbrushes over here? Oh, where's my paintbrush? I don't have my paintbrush over here. I do have colored pencils though. I might add a splash of color to this one. Who knows? I don't really know. Dun, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Have I mentioned yet that I really like the music of this game? Because it's incredibly relaxing and it really sets the vibe for doing dishes, um, homework. Not that I have homework much anymore. It really sets the mood for other sort of housework and chores. Or, um, bicycling through the streets of Philadelphia. It kind of sets the mood for that. I didn't listen to this as I biked through today. Sometimes some lo-fi music really 
sets me going. It distracts me from the other troubles of the world around me. Like, for example, being a bike rider, and I, I ride my bike now to work, and I'm always afraid that I'm gonna, like, get smacked on, totally get dunked on by an actual motor vehicle, and that terrifies me. Um, but apparently, there's a website I can go to. There's, like, a Philadelphia Coalition of Cyclists, and they've got attorneys who are prepared to fight for me if a car ever totally messes me up. And I'm like, well, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, let's see. These ears might be a little too big, but, like, we can make them a little smaller. I feel like, I feel like the character of the dog, the main character in this game, reminds me of, like, an actual artist. Like, the way with, like, the, the bandana, a little hair tuft. I don't know. I don't know much about art, to be perfectly honest. I'm not much of a history kind of guy. I'm not much of a theory kind of guy. Except when it comes to things that are technological. I like that stuff. That stuff interests me. I will read entire newspapers about, like, a new... Like, like a new image detection algorithm or something like that. Or the newest Bluetooth standard. Or real-time operating systems in your neighborhood. But, like, Declaration of Independence? Nah. Miss me with that. Miss me with that. No, miss me with the Declaration of Independence. You want to talk about the Declaration of Independence? You can go talk to... What's-his-face? Nicholas Cage. You talk to Nicholas Cage on that one. Because he tried to steal the Declaration of Independence in National Treasure. A movie that I need to add to a list somewhere because I've told myself many times I need to watch it, just like I need to watch The Room, various other movies. I was just talking to somebody today. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to. I went to the store the other. I went to the post office the other day, and I was supposed to give an envelope to my to my boss because I got an envelope for him. Because he needs to send his buddy. Uh, I think it was like an autograph copy of something the room related from one of like the actors in it. He's a big room fan. I for one have never watched. I'm sure it's lovely. I'm sure. <laughs> I rather. I'm sure it's just as bad as everybody says it is, if not worse. I look forward to seeing that on my on my own sometime. Let's get this bandana in check. Uh, honestly, I like to do I like to do streams like this, or rather, drawings every once in a while. Because what's really really cool about a piece of art like this, I guess most pieces of art, is like at least for my sketchbook, I get to go back and look at everything I've done before, and it's like really cool just to like see like the various iterations of things that I've done. Some weird, some not so much, you know, whatever might be in there. It's kind of cool. I've never filled up a sketchbook before. I can't even... I, I can't use a single medium of stuff long enough to substantiate, like... Like, I've never been able to fill up a sketchbook because... I guess I don't draw often enough in any one sketchbook. Because they'll be like, they'll be like doodles and stuff. And the doodles wind up on, like, note cards. I actually have an entire tin of note cards that have various forms of art on them not forms of art like various various pieces of expression i could probably go grab that if i need to but i don't feel like going all the way over there if i don't have to i got i collected most of my stuff for the cosplay stuff and for the drawing stuff and it should be all relatively around the desk we'll see what what's necessary honestly excuse me I'm not looking too bad i'm gonna redo sushi max chin What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Sushi and mac and cheese. Probably just sushi based off of more recent discussions, but, you know? Two and one can't not be the same. The two are not necessarily- That's the thing. They're not necessarily mutually exclusive. I've never had sushi with cheese on it. Or let alone sushi with macaroni. I'm sure it exists. And now, I want to try it. I will find it eventually. Actual Sushi Mac? I'm gonna find you. And I am going to completely devour you. For a potentially affordable price. Potentially not an affordable price. Maybe, like, the best mac and cheese out there actually contains, like, sushi-grade fish. Which would be pretty cool. I apologize if the microphone just twanged there. My microphone is, like, right there! And my... It's kind of in range of my pencil. Actually, can you see it? Oh my god, you can totally see. Get out of there. 
Hey, you can still kind of see it. Whatever. Look, it's a microphone. Ah! Scary. Everybody run for your lives. I need a better angle on this to make a circle. That's not necessarily in the way of a microphone. Let's try that. That's gonna I'm gonna wind up being the black color anyway. That's acceptable. I'm gonna redo some of that. I don't know. I don't know if I wanna do it exactly like the photo. Usually I really I'm really proficient at like like transferring whatever image is there, 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 from sight onto the paper with some unintentional modifications along the way, but you know. Maybe I'll whip out the colored pencils later and do like a better, like a more complete version after I get the regular graphite down. And that's kind of got like some, uh, let's put a little circle there and just kind of like eh, shade that in. Yeah, you get him, Sushi Mac. Little shiny nose. Boop. Boop the nose. Boop. I think your snout's kind of reaching a little too much into your face. How about... How about I raise you this? Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that... Ain't that cute? Ain't she a doll? Let's get your eyes. Eyes are annoying. At least for me. So, uh, if I don't mess these up on the first time... Awesome. But I might. That's okay. We're all perfectly imperfect around here. I got you. I got you, eyeball. I've got you. Yes. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not exactly the same as the picture, but what is? Are you exactly the same as your parents? I certainly hope you're not. Be original. Be original. Am I the only person who like? Okay, so like you can some you can, you have the ability to. Nobody can tell you you don't, but you have the ability to purposely missay words, and sometimes it's great. For example, Follett Mignon. Follett Mignon is a part of a cow or meat. Actually, I just had pork filet mignon the other day. I mean, filet mignon. And, um, well, now I don't know what to do with my life. That is a little not, no, don't like that eye placement. See? Messed up the eyes already. It's okay, we knew it would happen. Very go with the flow kind of guy. If things kind of mess up, we're like, eh, whatever. Do it again. I'm very much the kind of person who's like, if I need to completely redo something to make it better because I learned something along the way that would make things, like, better than they actually were, then, like, I'm cool with it. I- I don't mind. I do not mind. Also, I found that, like, with eyes like this, at least for me, I don't know exactly how good it looks until I fill in the color. And, um, there's a lot of- there's a lot of color in there. Because it's all black. You know? I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. I think it's maybe a little more... Is it a little more cartoonish? The eyes aren't as far up on our dude's head. Actually, it's smaller. Should the eye be bigger? The eye should be bigger. The eye should be bigger. I think, same as we did, except a little... A little more. Maybe? Hmm? Maybe not? Actually, it kind of looks like he's got, like, an iris now. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Not sure if I like- Oh, you know what? I think that does look good. Yeah. I like that. One of the things that I've always had trouble with is being able to see my picture, like, whatever I'm drawing, like, from the big picture. And it's actually great because I can just look over there and I see my picture and from a different angle. It's great. It's great. I love my toys. I like my technology. It lets us art better. It lets us live better. Let's see, if we fill in the eyes a bit, how are we looking? How are we looking? Beautiful! I'm cool with it. We're moving on. Now it's a matter of positioning that mouth. What'd that mouth do? That mouth is inspirational. 
That mouth speaks words of truth. That mouth brings forth the truth. And that mouth can sing. Yes, it can. The song of the wielder, they sing in that game. The dog sings. It's got a very squeaky voice, like... Actually, it's an even higher pitch than that. It's a whole octave up. Something like that. I'm trying not to, like... I am much closer to the microphone than I usually am. So I don't want to, like, blow anybody's ears out. I want to blow your mind with these epic drawing skills. But I don't want to blow your ears. Nor do I want to blow any other part of your body. No thank you. Although, I appreciate the offer. Let's work on let's work on your armsies. Little doggy needs some armsies. Oh, you know, we, we also got a got a little sweat drop there after a hard day's work. A little uh I like how this was drawn like the actual reference picture was drawn like it doesn't it's not like a oh my god I'm sad teardrop. It's sweat. It's sweat dripping down your face, which is exactly what I was like except every single part of my body later like earlier in the day because i had the bike home and always stressing about like is somebody gonna hit me am i going to die today no i'm not allowed to die today anna says i can't i'm not allowed i'm supposed to be living for the next hundred years as of two years ago so i've got 98 years left here's to it l'chaim i actually don't have a beverage on me i don't know where my water is i'm probably gonna grab a soda for the bridge Definitely gonna grab a soda from the bridge. No drinky drink tonight. No cocktail tonight. Because I just don't want it. I'm in the mood for something sweet. I'm in the mood for something exotic. And that's the wonderful thing about being human. I don't have to drink all the time. I have free will. Or at least, I'm convinced that I do. It's very possible that I don't. I think there's a certain, like, sect of philosophy that deals with that. Behavioralism, I think it is. I I, I don't know these words. I, I don't study philosophy. I like to read about it sometimes, but I think my uncle or something, or my brother, perhaps. Somebody mentioned it. Not sure who. That's okay. Now let's see, Sushi Mac. Did I make you look like a little a little chubster, or did I make you look actually pregnant? I'm not sure yet. Let's draw the other half of you and find out. Eh. Definitely goes like below your ears. Another thing that I plan on doing for this is I might turn this, like, do this whole thing here and turn it into a speed draw and put it up somewhere, like a gift. I'm not sure exactly how fast I can make this. I've always wanted to see something like that. I really like time lapses. Time lapses look really, really cool, and I've never, I've never done like a like a time a time lapse with anything that I've done before. Cause like I don't know, I really don't do much that has like a pro a progression stream like that. Plus, nothing that like sits at a particular angle and watches something change, except for like this drive type of draw stuff. That's good. Let's see how big are your arms supposed to be. Let's say I'm looking, thinking like maybe the length of your ears. That's all right, a little bit more. That feels good. That feels good. Put a little paw action in there. Paw action. Yeah. Yeah. Paw action. All right. We're sitting, what are we doing? We're sitting on a bench. What are we doing? We're uh, drinking a cup of, I'm guessing it's hot honey or something like that. I'm not sure if that, that's probably really enjoyable. It's like tea with honey. It's tea with honey. I'm just not sure why the, the, the sweat drop on our main character's face is, like, yellow. Like, maybe that's actually, like, the drop of the tea that's still remaining on your face because you're a slob. At least I was a slob, so main character was a slob when I played. But I think my style grew over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all got a style. We've all got, we all got style. And my style grew over time, as all of ours do. As all of us do. Uh, I think that needs to be farther back a bit. And then you need to chill. Back up. This little line here, chill. Chill, bro. Chill. 
try to go up like this. I tend not, unless I'm trying to do exact measurement, I could like whip out a ruler for like straight line type things, but unless I'm like really need it, like for some of the cosplay stuff later, um, I don't need it. It's, it's not, it's not necessary. Eh, we don't need that here. Do it yourself stuff like this. There's, there's no, there's no place for that type of, this is, it's freehand. There's no place for that type of exactness. No place for that. Not around here. Not in my house. Not in my house. I remember that was like a commercial for like some food or whatever. No, no. Not in my house. Like, maybe it was like Cheez-Its or something. And somebody was trying to eat Cheez-Its. And then some basketball player came by and just like whacked the Cheez-Its out of their hand. Like, no, no. Not in my house. Like, dude, let the Cheez-Its be. I don't even know if it was, it was Cheez-Its or anything like that. But it was definitely some sort of like food commercial. And the kid was just like, what the heck, man? I want my snackers. I want my, I want my salty snacks. Give me my salty snacks. Your boy wants some salty snacks. Actually, I really don't want any salty snacks right now. There's no need. This song is about to get crazy, so we're going to switch it. Oh, this song is also pretty crazy. Whatever. Oh, where's our music? Hello? <gasps> Why did my music stop? Oh, did I click the wrong button? Oh, I totally clicked the wrong button. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. I didn't click the fast forward button. I clicked the stop play button. That's why the music stopped. <laughs> I'm silly. I don't, I don't do things right sometimes. It's okay. We're all okay. We're all all right. Didn't that 70s show teach us that? We're all all right. No matter what you are, you're all right. No matter who you are, you're all right. We're all right. We're all all right. Oh, this chub? This little chubby belly over here? It's gonna look great. A beautiful chubby belly. To all the folks who've got the chubby bellies out there, you're perfect. Unless you feel like... Wherever you see your, yourself at right now, if you if you see like room for improvement for one reason or another, whether it be external, like for example, your doctor says like, like, you know, whatever you've got going on is not so good for you, or internal, like, you know, my arms could be a little more tone, or, you know, my hair could be a little longer, or a little shorter. Like wherever you see yourself, if that's not the self that you see yourself at right now, then, you know, maybe you're perfectly imperfect. I'm perfectly imperfect. I like, there's there's certain parts about my body that I'd like to change, but I'm working on it. And not everybody has that mental resolve to work on it like right now. It took me a few years and well, kind of got some habits now. I still need to go for my run this week. Oh my God, I didn't do that. I've been so busy with work. Maybe I'll do it later. Maybe tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I don't have time tomorrow. I didn't have time today. Oh, I'm traveling with Anna to uh, Indianapolis. We're going to Gen Con, which is why we're doing cosplay stuff at literally the last minute in classic, classic Cameron style. Classic Cameron style of things getting done in literally the last moment. Although, I don't think that's classic. It's certainly not classically unique me. It's just so typically me. Because I'm sure there are other people out there who do the exact same. Honestly, much better than I do. Much worse than I do. And by much worse, I mean, like, to a higher degree than I. Like, for example, like, I, I say last minute, like, the convention's on Friday. And I'm doing some minor co uh, prop making stuff a few days before. That feels last minute to me. Not like last minute as in, like, it was due an hour ago type last minute. And, um, I, I don't, I, I haven't had an experience like that. I always would get too stressed out before that point would come. And then I kind of get my ass in gear. Let's try a little more, a little more bulbous, a little more bulbous for you, Tukus. A little more bulbous on you, Tukus. There, little doggy, little doggy, little doggy. Need some, need some chub in the front, and some chunk in the back. Cameron, never speak these words again. Just calling it like it is. Calling it how I see it. I have like very odd ways of remembering things. Today what I had done at work is there's a lot of devices that I have to become familiar with. So a lot of them were various different colors, various different names, various different methods of use. And so in my head, like I would make jokes about some of them. Jokes that like I'm not gonna wind up saying here because it's I feel like that's a little proprietary. 
That's just a little sneak peek. But let's say, like, I try to remember McDonald's as, like, Mickey D's. Mickey D's? Mickey D's nuts? I don't know. It certainly helps me remember it. Things like that. Or, um, like, if you're trying to memorize, like, acronym or, like, um, phrases, you can make them into acronyms and then make them, make those acronyms something else funny. Like, uh, when I was doing my cocktail classes a while ago, I didn't really didn't get that far with them. I, I say cocktail classes, like bartending school, as if, like, don't, don't think, like, I got a degree in that stuff. Like, I did not. I took, like, a few classes that I paid, like, 300 bucks for and then didn't complete the rest of it because I thought, I don't need to do this. I'm just doing this for fun. Why do I need a certification? So that's what I mean by that. But, like, um, let me, let me think. Like, um... Let's see, to make to make a Negroni, you use gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth, right? So let's try, let's, tr let's do a little quick thing here. G, C, S, V. So I don't know, like, gals come somewhere Valencia. I don't, I don't know. I'm... I'm not good at this stuff. Gals come somewhere, Valencia. Oh, that's a that's, that's a Negroni. <laughs> Obviously, I don't I don't know. That was probably a really bad example, but you know we're we're doing things up on the spot here. It's it's kind of what we do around here. I, I don't got no script. I just got a reference picture. That's all I got. That's not a script I really ever have, and I like it that way. All right, so we got most of the shape down. Let's get let's get your legs. The rest of your legs. Can we see that? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, it actually looks really good from this angle. It's kind of funny with the fisheye lens, like, depending on where I put the thing, like, it kind of warps a little bit, like, head's a little smaller down here, head's a little... Actually, it's really not that bad. It gets worse over here. Honestly, it ain't that bad. I, like, I I'm a, I'm a little quote-unquote perspect per perfectionist, so things like that would usually bother me, but honestly, it's really not that bad. Now that I look about it, it can be a little imperfect. We, we, um, we improve ourselves over time. You're not going to become the star athlete in a day. It's going to take, you're going to become, let's say, the star athlete in your local region in a couple years. And then you got to jump into a bigger sea. You got to jump into a bigger pond where there are bigger fish. And you got to, you know, compare yourselves to them. And I'm not saying you should, let, like, compare yourselves to people, but, like, like I was saying before, like, if you see yourself being at a certain point, like, oh my god, I am totally not Steve Buscemi level, like, persona right now, and I want to be that Steve Buscemi, then, you know, perfectly imperfect right now, you'll get to that, <laughs> let's call it the Buscemi point. We'll get to the Buscemi point later. I'm not sure if that's, like, a, like a, like a good goal in life or not. I'm not sure. I'm sure he's a wonderful guy. I'm sure he's a wonderful guy. I know he's a pretty good actor, but that's honestly about all I know. I think your pant leg needs to be bigger. Bigger pant leg. Let's try... This way. Another thing I really like about the music from this game in, in initially was I, I discovered it while I was driving back to the city one day and it just kind of popped up in a playlist I was listening to with other songs by Lena Rain and I was like, wow, this stuff is really cool. I think it was the Supper Woods song and when that comes on, I'll point it out because it will eventually come back on. And I was like, wow, this is like really, really bopping. Like, I really want, I, I want to know what this is from. And it was like, oh my God, it's a video game? Like, oh, I should totally play that. And it was a rather new video game at the time. New-ish? I was like, oh my god. I should totally hit that up. And so I did. And I hit that up. And I hit that up good. And played the game. And now it's over. It's awesome. There's definitely like more collectibles to get in that game, at least for me. But that'll probably be a personal time thing. Maybe not. I don't know. Really depends on how I'm feeling at the time. I think that leg looks alright. Let's do the same thing over here. Honestly, I don't think the legs are going to be that difficult. Unless I draw the bench wonky. 
See, the bench might be something I want to take out a ruler for, but I'm just going to say right now, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. Perfection has no place here. Not that type of perfection, at least. Kind of looks like he's sitting on the bench. Kind of, kind of somewhere. Cute little doggo fella. Sitting on a bench. I don't usually sit on benches. I feel like I don't like to, like, lounge around in areas that aren't, like, my own. Like, if I had to, like, if I was walking, like, if I was walking home, right, and there's a be and I'm, like, really, really tired, and there's a bench that I could so clearly sit in, I will not sit in the bench. I will just tough it out until I get back to my house, where I will happily lounge on my couch or lounge on a chair somewhere. I'd much rather do that. Much rather. Suffer a little bit more for, like, uh, a more comfortable relaxation. Although, in recent years, that's kind of changed a little bit. Like, now I'm a little less inclined to do stuff like that. Like, you know what? We need breaks every once in a while. And if there's a bench sitting right there saying, like, come on, why don't you take a seat? Like, I might take a seat. And just kind of absorb the world around me. I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of talk about, like, you know, being in the moment and mindfulness and being aware of your surroundings. And I actually saw a TikTok the other day of some dude dressed up as a monk. I don't know if he was an actual monk or anything like that, but he was just like, you know, you're practicing your mindfulness when you play something like a video game. Like, you're not thinking about the past, you're not thinking about the future. I mean, in the game, maybe you're talking about the past or the future. But, like, in that moment... Like, with, with respect to the world around you, you're not focused on, on the past or the future, you're in the moment. And that's a really great thing to do. Apparently that's like how you can reach, like, um... I wanna say for that, it's enlightenment. Meditation and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not saying, like, you know, full-on... Full-on meditation, but... Very well could be. I need this to be farther up that way, so I can have the... Overalls come down this way. There we go. Overall's coming down that way. Gotta change this up a little bit. There we go. That's that's fine. I think that's lovely. I just need a little belt. A little suspenders. A little suspenders coming down this way. Couple little couple little suspenders coming in there. Being all suspendery. How you doing, suspenders? I'm doing just fine. Just fine, suspenders. I don't wear suspenders. Personally, I feel like like I don't need it. I guess I don't I don't got I don't have this little chunk down here. Personally, I mean I used to have something similar, but I, I guess I had growth spurts and I stopped eating like that much cheese. My mother's solution to me not putting on enough weight as a child was to get me into cheese sticks, like those like those cheese sticks that you can like peel and I'm telling you, if you if you know what I'm talking about, what you should do is you grab a cheese stick, unwrap it first, uh, first unwrap it. Then, put it in a microwave for like, 10 seconds. That's all you need. It's a little softer, it's warm, if you- if you peel it, it's like, oh, it's just- it's great. Anyway, that's your cheese tip for the day. There's not usually cheese tips. Ch cheese tips. <laughs> a tip of cheese. But if it's- I mean, if it's- if it's helping, then like, it must continue. Must continue. The cheese tips must continue. The cheese tips will continue until morale improves. Get up in that. The bander. It's looking a little big. Looking a little like a thick suspender, but you know. Suspenders have a right to be thick. We all have a right to be thickness. Pretty sure it's in the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Gotta be in the Declaration of Independence. A right to be thick. T H I K double C. That's thick with two C's. I'm not a very thick individual, I'll admit that. I, I am not. I am just merely talking the funnies. I am not thick. Leave the description of thick to those who actually are. And proudly call themselves such category. Take your armpits and put them a little farther down a little bit. Suspender. Suspender's going down a little bit. Going down. And armpit coming up. 
I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. I wonder who does that song. Me and my parents were talking about Britney Spears the other day. I don't know exactly how she came up in conversation. Something about... Oh, you know, apparently something like um, she, she's got money that she needs or she she's entitled to that her parents are keeping up from her because, like, her parents are, like, not so hot. I don't know. I don't keep with pop stars or anything like that either. Just not... It's not really my thing. I'm gonna give this... This little part of the overalls a little curve there. It's something it didn't have before. <laughs> um, alright, maybe I should wait on that until... I don't know, do I want to do two colors on this? I do want to add a little splash of color. And I'm not sure if I should do, like, black color with the graphite or with, with the with the colored pencil. You know, how much... I got dark colors. We can, we can do that. We'll do that when the, the rest of it is finished. I'm honestly in no rush to do anything tonight. I got, I got cosplay stuff I want to do. The cosplay stuff will be done. Got drawn stuff I want to do. Drawn stuff will be done. We'll all be done. Little circle. Little circle buttons. Four buttons that need to be circular. Okay. And now I got a little, got a little seam running this way. Go, that extends all the way up. That's cute. That's a touch of cuteness. I like a touch of cuteness. I'll take a side of cuteness with my pancakes, please. Throw it, throw an extra cute in the toaster when you're making my waffles, please. I'll have that with a side of cute. I'd buy cute for a dollar. Unless said cute is a person, in which case I would not purchase you at all. But if I had to, it would be for a lump sum no less than the value of human life. Which is, according to at least one insurance form, like a few million dollars. That was a highly debated topic. And I want to say it was the law class I took. Like some company, some insurance company, like over like the death of a person was like, we we're going to reimburse you a certain amount of money for your dead relative because this is how much a human life is worth. And the world was like, no. <laughs> Not like that. And now we have measures for like certain sets of compensation like that are based off like, like if you get injured, like how much money you would be entitled to if you weren't so injured, if you had the opportunity to continue like, let's say with your schooling or your, your athleticism, or whatever you do. I'm gonna need to angle up on this one. Gotta, gotta angle up for this uh, front pocket. Oh my god, I'm just not I'm just noticing now. I'll point this out in a moment, but the pants are so happy. The pants are so happy looking. Yeah, like like this. I'm gonna round this out in a hot second. And then So bear with me. Two eyes and a happy face. I bet if I drew a little bit of teeth with a little tongue in there, with some eyebrows. You'd be like, oh my god, there's a little happy face on there. You really can't see this. Observe! Observe the happy! Actually, it might not be- that, that emotion- that face may not show the emotion happy. We'll leave that for a fellow human to decide. I'm biased. I, I am human. I'm not saying I'm not human. I'm just saying I'm the biased one, because I, uh, I drew it. That's- we don't like biased results around here. I'll put a little flap across it. See, actually, you know, that kind of looks like teeth. It looks even more like happy. I like happy. Uh, I forgot to grab. We got a little... Got some, uh... Got some chafing on the knees. Chafing? No, that's not what, what those are. Bruises? Maybe bruises? Well, I mean, previously, our, our main character in the game was a janitor for Chicory's Wielder Tower. So, like... Might have, uh, they might have been on their knees for a little bit. Hot minute. At our toes. At our toes. My toes, Sith. Have I ever mentioned my AP biology teacher? My AP biology teacher was like, I don't like the fact that mitosis, which is two cell, which is one cell, splitting into two, and meiosis, which is one cell, ripping its chromosomes in half, 
and then splitting up in two, leaving half the chromosomes over here, and then half the chromosomes over here. That's meiosis. Why does meiosis and mitosis have to sound so similar? Why can't it be like mitosis and like bagel? And so, meiosis, sexual reproduction, not mitosis, asexual reproduction, is bagel. Tis bagel. So remember that when you're teaching your children, teaching others, learning on your own, meiosis is bagel. And honestly, usually I'd stop there at the character. But I like this whole bench thing going here, so like, let's just do a little, little bench. Just get some bench action in there. The music is popping, so I think we deserve a bench. Let's see if I can. Let's see how straight a line I can do. Straight line, straight line. Not too bad for a skewed reference. What even is straight? <laughs> Straight is not curved. This not straight. That curve. This kind of straight. This almost straight. This straightest thing on paper. And we need the top of the top of the little bench stuck. And there's supposed to be that that line I drew is supposed to be parallel with the one below it. Let's see how well we did. Honestly, honestly, totally could do better if I had a ruler. But I don't want to have a ruler. So I won't have a ruler. I mean, like, I do have a ruler. It's literally, it's literally right here. This is my ruler. It's flexible. Observe the flexibility of the ruler. Ha 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 ha! It's enjoyable. The picture has a bench that ends, but this bench will go on ad infinitum. I'm gonna adjust this bench part down there. There we go. There we go. That's part of a bench. What else part of bench is there? Um, technically, the rest of it comes up this way, next to uh, next to next to body. Let's try. I don't know. Trying, trying, trying straight straight line. Not bad. A little curved. It's fine. Trying to map it that way. And there. That's that's all right. That's that's bench energy. That's bench energy if I've ever seen it. And then like, let's offset this a little bit. So like bench also up here. Is it like yeah, it's a little different angle. It's a little a little more horizontal now for the rest of the bench. A little like that. Mm, that's that's too. That's no, no, okay. Oh, but it kinda is. On the picture at least. Eh, pictures pictures are for reference. Don't gotta be exact. Let's try... Where do I want the top of the bench to be? Over here. This is where my top of the bench is. Bench. Bench top. How about the top of the bench headboard? Mm, there. How about the midpoint of the bench? There. And so, the reference would be like this. But it should really be straighter. Mm. Should probably be straighter. For a bench. Or not straighter. Um, more horizontal. A greater degree of horizontalness, not so verticalness, than the other. And that bothers me. So that's gonna be that. Okay, okay. Cross the page. Good. Then again. Good. Then again. Good. And again. Very care I'm very careful with my straight lines. Or at least I try to be. We try our best. We don't succeed. Get what we want, not what we need. Whatever. Bench. Bench good. Bench nice. Bench lovely. Bench has poles. Poles on bench. Poles on bench. Poles on bench extend all the way down. Poles on bench. Pole on bench also has background. So let's... If the pole on the bench were off the page and it came down, it would probably be around here. 
No picture, don't go away. No picture, why'd you go away? <laughs> why'd you go away, picture? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And then the other part of the bench post back there. That's fine. I don't think I'll draw the other one. I need the entire other half of the bench. So if I were to follow this line forward across, let's do like uh, there. Uh, there. Uh, there. Best line I'm going to get there. Is it a little curved? Yeah, but who isn't? Who isn't a little curved? Take that as you will. T take take that... Whatever, whatever it is. Whatever it means to you. Alright, cool. So that's bench. And actually, there's a little part of that bench coming off here. So let's let's draw that down there. That's alright. That's not too bad. It's, it's pretty bench-like. I'd say it's pretty bench-like. We also have some flower doodles. I can draw some flower doodles. That 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 seems doable. Got some leaves up in this direction. I don't have to be as exact. I personally feel that I don't have to be as exact with these. Just, just cause it's kind of in, kind of embellished. It's embellished. It's supposed to look pretty. Let's try a little... I've never seen leaves drawn like that, but I guess it kind of makes sense. It's a little, uh... Because you can draw, you can see the veins in the leaf. Veins of the leaf? Veins of the leaf. Yeah. Leaves have veins. See a little flower petal coming off in this direction. A little leaf. There. Got some spiky trees. This little tree's a happy little accident. I never watched Bob Ross, but I'm sure he was a wonderful, wonderful person as well. R.I.P. In peace, my friend. And then, like, the rest of that flower. As the music gets incredibly sinister. Yes. Flowers are terrifying. Flowers kill. Or at least some flowers do. Like, um... Nightshade? Probably. But not all... F but not all flowers in the Nightshade family are killer? I want to say there's a berry in the night... In the night shade family. I don't know what it is, though. Maybe it's the strawberry. I'm unsure. Honestly, not so sure. Oh, I just noticed. Okay, okay, so... The little drop on the face is because there's a leaf, a flower leaf, above, that's dripping, I guess, nectar? And our little, our little main character just like, I'm okay with this. That's okay. Nectar's fine. Let's, uh, let's add that. There we go. Flower thing dripping. It's dripping. It's got a little... There we go. A little up there. That's our... That's the flower. And then I'll modify that to look a little... Slightly different from the photo. But it's just a reference. It can be whatever we want it to be. And more. Possibly less. It can be less too. That's okay. That's the wonder of... I guess, doing things the way you want to. What's the way that I want it? Any way you want it, that's the way you need it? Which was the... What fast food restaurant was like? Have it your way. Oh, it was Burger King. Have it your way. That that was it. That, I remember now. Got some other embellishments back there. That's beautiful. Got some flowers. Flowers coming up. Over here. That's nice looking. And then the rest of the flower will look probably okay as well. Oops. Bopped my microphone again. It's in the way of my pencil. Silly microphone. Being all up in the way. It's okay. You can be in the way if you'd like to. I certainly won't mind. I certainly will not mind. Oh, my phone is on vibrate. And we're getting... Some fun stuff.
Fun stuff for work stuff. I'm almost finished with that flower up there. And then we'll start, you know what? We'll add some color. I like that. Don't usually do color. I'm usually a grayscale kind of guy. Don't really do things in color. But I have become a much more colorful person over the past couple years. So, <laughs> I'm inclined to keep it that way. Now I guess I'll go into the arsenal of colors, I suppose. I have an entire arsenal of colors. I got all these artists, artist choice colors. Kind of, kind of colors we choose. I think I'm gonna start with the black, or the darkest, whatever the darkest color will be. Oh my god, a pencil split in there. Look at that. Completely split down the middle. I have no idea how that happened. Somebody must have been in my pencil collection. How dare you be in my pencil collection? How dare you? Doesn't necessarily have to be black. It could be any other color. What if our? What if this dog? What if this dog has not black fur? How about this dog? has the darkest chocolatey brown. Does this have a color on it? Artist's choice, what choice? Brown, probably. Artist's choice is the best choice. Maybe, I don't know. I bought these colored pencils on like Amazon like years ago and I don't draw in color very often. That's why, that's why we have an entire collection of stuff. You know, I'm gonna be right back in just a moment. I'm just gonna grab a water bottle for myself because I know I had it. Oh, there it is, it's right over on the table. Camera in the distance. It's got no water. Filling up the water. As the music gets incredibly sinister again. It's got boss music too. It's pretty epic. Like that. Honestly, not sure if in that position the microphone can hear me, but I'm coming back. Don't worry. No worries. Alas, he's back. And now, he has the power. Hydration. Beside him. Consumption is key to a well-balanced life, I suppose. I got a little water on my desk. But luckily, no water on the thing here. Now, one of the problems I'm probably going to run into, if if I'm not careful, which I'm not, is I don't... I need... I don't know where my pencil sharpener is. I really don't know where my pencil sharpener is. All right, well, if we run out of one color, we're moving on to another. A similar color. Forced gradients. Forced because I had no other choice. All right. Oh, this is a bop. One of the nice things about using Spotify to provide the music for the stream as opposed to a two computer- So previously I used the two computer setup for my streams because one computer could not handle the brunt of the game and the stream at the same time. That has since changed, which has been- which has been nice. The GPU has caused its own problems, but honestly it's less of a hassle than it was previously. And the internet company decides to be a biage. But whatever. Um, so now, there's not much of a delay. There's no uncomfortable delay between, or at least from what I can tell so far, mic checks, between the music that I hear in my headphones and the music that actually shows up on the stream. There's no, there's no delay there, to my knowledge. So I can, to, from what I can tell, I can kind of hum along with the music, sing along with the music, and... It's not, like, uncomfortably off. Like, like, have you ever been in, like, a Discord call with, like, your friend and you're, like, you're, like, taking turns singing parts of a song or you're singing a song at the same time and, like, you're trying to keep in touch with the music, but the music that they hear is slightly offset from the music that you hear and then there's latency between the two of you, so when you hear your friend singing, it's actually kind of weird and it messes everybody up and... Unless it doesn't. Because, uh, that's, that's kind of how it was. And I don't think it's like that anymore. Is this, like, a brown color? Yeah, it looks pretty... Uh, honestly, is that brown? I, I, need, I need to look that with my eyes. Actually, that looks purple. What color is this? I think it's purple. I think that is a deep purple. I'm into it. Or maybe it's a brown. Here, color test. Uh, color test. What does that look like to you? 
What is that color? It's kind of a plum. I'm thinking plum. Also, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I can see on OBS that like there's almost scan lines on the camera line. I tried to fix that. I have no idea what's going on. So apologies for the scan lines. I don't know what's doing it. But it's not like it matters because we're all having fun. At least I think we're having fun. I'm having a great time. It definitely is a nice, like a plum color. Deep, deep purple. It's much harder to erase colored pencils, so if I screw up here then... Excuse me. It's making it into the final product. I think especially with a color like this, because it's a very important color, it's dark, dark, the dark color, that I need to like, try not to like, push too hard on the paper, because if I do, the tip might snap. And, <laughs> as everybody knows, we don't want the tip to snap. If the tip snaps, it's not fun for anybody. Nobody involved has a good time when the tip snaps. Neither on the receiving end, or I guess the pitching end, receiving, receiving and transmitting end. Tr tr yeah, yeah, yeah. RX and TX. Serial port lines. We get it. That's a familiar concept. Like when your electronics need to talk to a computer or talk to the other, we can use the serial port. Cereal as in like Cheerios? Yes, cereal like Cheerios. If you want your devices to talk to each other, just make sure they have a balanced breakfast. And by balanced breakfast, I mean like properly defined GPIO pins that are prepped and ready for different types of serial communications. Either synchronously, asynchronously, asynchronously like UART or synchronously like IC2 or I squared C. Yeah, that's the one. But whatever, whatever. We, we're not focusing on them right now. This is this is color time. It's color time. Look at it. Look at that color. It's really not colored so far. But we're working on it. We're working on it. I guess we'll see where I get with this. Or we're not going to see where I get. Or we will see where I get with this. It's going to be a finished picture. It's going to look absolutely beautiful in our own special ways. And then we'll move on to cosplay stuff. I don't exactly know how long cosplay stuff is going to take me. I tried making it. So what I need to make tonight are glasses for um the 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 main the main i guess love interest of the movie kiki's delivery service tombo his glasses um i'm trying to make them out of foam it's really the first time i've worked with foam before and i don't have the proper tools i don't have a heated piece of thin metal to cut the foam without it um fraying and getting really uncomfortable i don't have a dremel like a spinning tool not like a drill like a dremel something a little different to actually round out those edges, I have um, chisels and sandpaper, which don't work exceedingly well. They kind of get the job. But it's going to be a bit of a rough up job. But so the intent of this next cosplay that Anna and I are doing is we don't really have like a base cosplay that we can put on when, let's say, like a convention pops up out of nowhere and we don't have time to like prepare a cosplay for it. We don't have one that's like a default. So this one was going to be the default. And the idea of being the default the default cosplay is that over time we make subtle improvements to it and it gets better over time and then it kind of melds into like this really like um you know like your mom's witch outfit or your dad's frankenstein outfit that they've been wearing for halloween for the past 20 years because you know why would you want to take the spectacle away from your kids on halloween unless if that's your thing parents of the world um i guess i don't know don't try not to be a dick about it don't be a dick to your kids I, I try I, I try not to make any like sort of bold statements, but like ch children got it rough already. They literally don't know how the world works. Like I think that's pretty damn rough. I think that is like the roughest you could possibly get it. All right, now I'm gonna try some shading. I really am not very good at shading. So my usual method is instead of like smudging my finger all over it, I'm just gonna get to do varying levels of shade and tint with varying pressures on my pencil to kind of get what I'm looking for. And honestly, I don't even know what I'm looking for, so pff, whatever. A little darker around the edges there. I'm going to use the swirl technique. You know what the swirl technique is? It's when you draw with swirls. I'm swirling. Swirling. 
Again, by the way, I'm Cameron, not professional artist, just hobbyist, doodler by trade, engineer by occupation. We're having a good time here, I think. And if you'd like to, obviously, you can follow along at home. That's the beauty. Do you have pen and paper? Do you have pencil and paper? Probably. Graphite? Writing utensil and writing receiver? Because if you do, you too can join in the fun at home. Right here on https colon slash slash twitch dot tv slash Cameron with an X. The X is silent, so have fun spelling that. It's actually kind of funny, like, uh, when I attempt to spell things out for people, especially like this, it's like, Kim, Kim, Kim Roxon? Like, you can, you can just, it's, it's just Cameron. It's arbitrarily spelled with an X. It's just, it's just funny. Somebody once thought, or actually a couple people thought, like, I, I started doing that as a username because my fraternity is Theta Chi, and Theta kind of looks like a, an O, and Chi is basically an X. And they were like, oh my god, like, with the Theta Chi inside of it, I was like, no, actually, it has absolutely no relation to that. I just thought names with X's were cool. So I put one in my name. Not my actual name. You will not find a registered U.S. citizen with my full name with the X in it. Because there is no actual X in it. That book came out awesome. Boop! Boop energy increased. That is... Boopalicious. Boopalicious boop. Boopalicious boop. Boopalicious boopalicious boop. B double O P. Boop. Anyway. Add some more color to uh, the smile down here. Could one use some darkness to it? Use a little. Use a little darkness. And like, like another thick. Like a little. A little thicker. A little thicker maybe. Like a little. I don't know. Like the resemblance of a lip perhaps. Some of these lines are definitely going to get a little thicker with the color. At least that's the way that I see it. I don't have, like, like it's not like I'm drawing this with a paintbrush or anything, or different sizes of paintbrush, but, like, the brush stroke size. Except it's a pencil. But I'll do the same thing with the ears as well. I find that's a lot easier for me to, like, trace lines than it is to make them, so this, this might go a little bit, a little bit faster. But again, if I run out of the color black, then, eh, or the, the, the color plum, I will switch to another color. Because we make our own rules. It's hard. Now that needs to be a little thicker, so it's okay that I didn't really get those strokes very well. I'm gonna make it thicker anyway. Honestly, having a slightly different color for like the accents of the lines might actually look pretty cool. We can always try it. Nothing stopping us. What other type of dark colors do I have over here? I got various shades of brown. That's a brown. We'll use that maybe later. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna give it a shot actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm kind of curious if it's gonna make a difference. To the naked eye, probably not. But to the well tuned true, true eh, the well tuned eye, the eye of a true artist. The eye with which the beauty is in. The eye of the beholder. The beholder, the uh, beholder's eye. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And then like Q sc screams in terror from like actual beholders in uh like D D. That is a, okay. So that's a very clear brown. Do we like that? Do I like that? I'm cool with it. It'll conserve on my plum. I'm totally cool with that. Actually, I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of. Uh, it's a little. It's a little more accented, accented than the plum is. So I might be able to go over what I've already done and kind of add that there. Yeah! I am totally into that. Totally into that. Let's, like, kind of do it around the eyes, too, maybe. I don't know. I, 
I, I don't know. I, I'm less inclined on the eyes. But I've already gotten this far, so it's gonna become art. This is our art. This is... A-R-T. X-A-R-T? Art with an X? No, that's not gonna stick. That's not good. X-Bar barely catches on. It makes me laugh, so... That's why it continues. <laughs> there's a there's a person in the community who's like, you should definitely change your setup a ton. Like, all, all your stuff needs an update. I'm like, okay, but like, why? I like it. And then there was various other dialogues back and forth. But like, suffice to say, like, if you if you're into it, dude, just be into it. If you're into it, just be into it. That's a song by Ken Ashcore. The, the panda? The panda? Panda person? Furry singing panda person? I don't know. I, I like their music. I used to listen to it a lot, like, a couple years ago? Like, um, whatever the, whatever the song, like, whatever song the lines, if you're into it, just be into it, belongs to. There was a song about a cheeseburger. Something like a... Don't care how long it takes to find Have your burger however you like No, I don't mind, no, I don't mind Something like that It might have just been called Cheeseburger In which case Alright Sweet I like cheeseburgers It's funny, there was a time like I specifically tried to avoid red meat Because I thought it activated my acid reflux That I have and made my throat burn But like, hey, it's I've been less able to tie it directly to that in recent years. I think it's seasonal. So that's how I'll call it like I see it. That's what I'm calling it. I think it's seasonal reflux. And that sounds disgusting. Because it is. I'm gonna get a little angled on this so I can get like the proper the proper arc in my arm. Everybody's got techniques. If I need to do like an arc like this, I like to have my my hand as the center of whatever arc I'm drawing, and it kind of makes it easier. And if I can't turn the page around, which oftentimes I don't, but this time I am, let's kind of rotate it around, trying not to contrast the control key on my keyboard, which is right currently underneath the notebook now. There we go, let's flip you back around. You spin me. Nice. Looking all right. Looking all right. Liking that. What have, how long have we been at this? An hour and a half? See, it didn't feel like that. Gosh. There's definitely more people out there who really know, like, what it's what it's like to come home from, like, a long day, like, a nine-to-five day of work. In my case, my day of work starts at 7.45 and continues until... Anywhere between five and six, really. But, like, I enjoy it. So, like, the day flies by, and then I get home, and I'm like, oh, it's dinner time, or whatever else I'm doing, whether it's working on some stuff to help out my father, or doing this streaming stuff, or visiting people, hanging out. It's nice. I'm enjoying myself so far. It's week two on the job, and they're very chill about things. Inform them that I'm leaving for two days to go to to drive 10 plus hours to a convention I've never been to before and I'm only a 10 I'm, I'm driving 10 plus hours for a one-day event But like it's not necessarily about the journey It's also about or it's not necessarily about the destination. It's about the journey And I think Anna and I are gonna have an absolutely wonderful journey She's got a lot of like places on the map picked out for our adventures like a giant quarter I think is on there as a tourist trap um, what else do we got on there? I don't, I don't really know. She's got it all mapped up. I've been kind of, I've been kind of busy with literally everything to kind of, so I, I passed the, I passed the torch to her on that one. I'm like, you plan out what the trip is. I don't care where we're going, but we should go there. And I mentioned like, I mentioned like visiting a vineyard with her, like a vineyards, um, because I want to try to like try out the local wines or breweries of the area. But, and she's like, oh, I found a couple of vineyards along the way. And I'm like, hold the phone. I don't think I should be doing wine tasting on a long drive. So we'll have to save that for the ride back 
toward the very end, if not at the very end. And she was like, good point. Good point there. I know pretty much wherever I get, wherever I go, in like the, within the past year, like I try to get like a local taste to the area if I can. You know, buying local is good. Shop local. That's a good thing. I'm gonna go all arc on this again. Arc, 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 arc. Arc, 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 arc. I don't do a very good Mr. Krabs impression, so my sincerest apologies for that. Is there? There are. Yes, that is indeed supposed to be a solid line. I'm gonna go for that booty. Booty? Booty. It's, it's booty-ish. It's booty okay. That's booty okay. I also, uh, I, apologies if I like, take the journal, the drawing journal, out of the fr out of frame. Actually, I should totally set up like, spike tape. Here, where's where's out of camera? This is this is officially out of camera. Don't bring it below there, Cam. Don't do it. Where's the other out of camera? Where's um where's my spike tape at? I know I had more spike tape over here. Where's my spike tape at? Can I put it in the drawer? Spike tape, baby. For our reference. Alright. We'll probably be going back into that drawer a bit later. Where's off camera? There's off camera. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Where's off camera? <laughs> Those places. Just kidding. You can see it right there in the in the in the top in the top right corner of the screen. This is so confusing. So if you look over, <sighs> look over there. You can see the. It's 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 fine. I need more cameras. I need more cameras so I can do more angles. What I really want to start doing is I want to do like some short term stuff, like short like sh short video stuff. And I feel like I need more angles for it. Like, 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 um, there's a show that I watch of a guy who does, like, cocktail videos, and he's got, like, th this guy's, like, a professional, like, video engineer. Like, he's got, he's got hundred plus, hundreds of dollars worth of cameras and equipment and stuff, and he does his own show, and he's got a crew and stuff like that. But, like, one of the things he does that I'd like to do is angles. Anna and I have been wanting to stream board games, like actual physical board games for quite a while. And I keep telling her, I don't want to do that until I get the right angle set up. And like currently, like as you can see here, like these, these are two angles. There's an angle over here, over there. There's an angle right here, right there. And I literally, I literally have a plank of wood that's actually out of camera that is being held down by a ceramic Pikachu, like, Chonkachu. You, you, you've seen the Chonkachu before. On top of a bunch of books just to get the right angle to look down at the page, which was like, that took about 20-something minutes to set up. And I know, like, for a professional, like, it probably takes a whole heck of a lot more time to set things up like that for, like, the, the perfect angles and stuff like that and readjustments. And But, like, you know, we got, we got limited hardware over here little do-it-yourself but like it, it's possible just work with your surroundings i have a ton of scrap wood and books and what have you all around to be able to try to set up these angles and honestly there is nothing stopping me for doing the same thing at my kitchen table to set up a board game and then an angle on anna and i were playing it because that would be awesome i feel like that would really make it but the other thing that's really the other thing that kind of um distracts me from doing that as well is not only do we have more camera angles but like if i have more than two angles i need to kind of mess with my overlay a bit and the overlay needs updating it does i think i want to go for a more i don't know i've always been like if something's happening on screen i want to be able to see all of it all the time and like that's how i designed the entire overlay there are no other forms of it my like my biggest thing was like Oh, like if I'm playing a video game and there's like a map in the top right corner, I don't want my camera to block it. Like, okay, cool. So if I don't want my camera to block it, just have another scene with a camera in the other corner. Like, I feel that way now. Back then I was like, I want a one size fits most approach. And so that that's what, that's what I developed. That was one of the criticisms of like, you need an update. Like, okie dokie then. Overlay update? Yeah. Make your background different. Like, okie dokie. Do you have suggestions? No, okay. Then it will stay that way. It will stay that way for now. 
honestly always looking for ways to improve i don't know if there's anybody out there who actually has like legitimate ideas and stuff like that you know what no 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 let me say legitimate ideas any ideas i will entertain all ideas that are dropped into the suggestion box all of them all of them every single one i am very i'm very okay with that doesn't matter how honestly because like what you think may seem outrageous very well may actually like plant the seeds in my brain of something that i think is really really good maybe absurd but anything's possible as i've been told by the internet and by local advertisements that anything is pops possible with popsicle And I'm talking about, like, those rocket popsicles, like the ones that look like they've got the multiple colors on them. I think that's the one. I don't really know. I don't know what brand that is, but it's a popsicle. All right, well, you're you're good. And I'm going to change. I'm going to wait on the actual background scenery. Actually, you know, I think I'll keep... I don't know yet. I don't know. I was thinking either, like, outline the background scenery or keep it uncolored or add a little color. I don't know yet, but we'll get there. That will be something that we get to eventually. But first continue drawing the rest the accents the accented lines because some of these are supposed to be a lot thicker and i'm gonna do that with some brown i think i think it's gonna look all right and if it doesn't look all right that's okay it can just be all right it doesn't have to look all right it's fine dude it's fine i'm very very go with the flow kind of person when it comes to most things. Like something breaks, that's fine. It was probably gonna break anyway. Let's just fix it. Or um things like that. Cause I find like oftentimes like the worst things to happen happen because like I, I didn't think things through. Like we've got a we've got a a, a towel uh, not a towel rack, a coat rack behind me. It's not currently on the wall. You actually can't see behind me right now, not at this angle. Usually you can. There's usually a coat rack up there. Hasn't been up the past couple days. It's too heavy for the wall, for the command strips. So, um, it fell. We need a better solution. We will eventually find a better solution. Um, with more command hooks and perhaps less weight on the actual coat rack. But that is just one solution out of many. And it takes a little time to come to those conclusions. About what kind of solution you want for that. But, like, I would have never thought that it was broke unless it broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, if it works, it works. But, like, if it breaks, then that's reason enough to find a, solu uh, find a solution. At least I think so. Maybe that's my engineering brain talking. I'm not sure if that's the whole just in my mind of, like, everything is a problem to be solved. And I don't mean problem in a negative sense. I mean, like, everything is something that has a solution. More so. I, I think that's probably better put like that. At least in my in my mindset, everything everything is something that does or does not have a solution yet, and a solution is something that works. It just works, and if it just works, then that's totally fine. That's solution enough for me. I'm actually go over this nose in brown because I realize the colors I think look better that way. Did I ruin it? Maybe. I don't know. But I think it looks fine. I think that looks beautiful. Eat. Honestly, I kind of do like this color better than the other ones, but... Mm, keep it with it. <laughs> Give a little Sushi Mac a little eyeshadow. Yeah. Just a little. Just a tad bit. Just a tad. Add some more chunk up here. Now... I had mentioned before that the composer of the music from this game, which is playing right now, has also made music for other games as well. Namely, Celeste, a platformer. Lena Rain is the composer, and she also did music for that game. I think that this song in particular sounds a lot, like very reminiscent of the music that she did for uh, Celeste, which I think is awesome. I think it's, it's kind of like what I would consider like her own musical motif. Her, are they actually, I don't know what um, Lena's pronouns are. I never, I haven't looked that up. But, um, I think, I think it's, it's great fit for the game. 
As also as well, I think the singing voices of the characters also are something that they've done in uh, other things as well. Other other music. That, I'm not exactly sure on that one, though, but. Zoom, zoom, zoom. What song is this one, actually? It's UMI backwards. That's the name. Eventually, what I want to do, especially for streams like this, I'll have, like, a now playing widget somewhere. I don't currently have one of those, so. I will usually just announce what it is. Obviously, all credit for music goes to Lena Rain, the creators of the Chicory game. It was awesome. I loved it. And if there's a copyright claim on this video causing me not to be able to monetize so that you get credit where the credit is due, you have earned it. Or, like, I guess I have earned the copyright claim for having the music on there. So, that's how it will be. That just means that the algorithms are properly picking up that this ain't mine. And I guess that's the algorithms doing their job. I'm cool with it. I feel like, I feel like when the whole, like, DMCA stuff for Twitch came out, there was at least... A couple people that I knew, namely one in particular, who was like, like, like was very, very bothered about it because that means like, oh, apparently like without the music, like your stream isn't entertaining. Like, okay, well, you can make your own music if that's the problem that you're trying to solve there. Or like, maybe, I, 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 don't, I don't know, like, get a better solution. Like if your music, if your music, which is not yours, is what's drawing people in, and somebody tells you you gotta stop using it, then I guess you gotta change up your stance. Well, it's time for a paradigm shift. Time to change up your stance a little bit. Because that solution ain't working for you anymore. Granted, I could be saying the same thing about myself. I don't have to use the Lo-Fi Girls music. I don't have to use the music from the game. It just, it sets the ambiance for me. Because I really enjoy that type of music. And I think this... You know, I'm drawing, I'm drawing. This is kind of my, I've only done this twice. Um, drawing, like, just me drawing characters from a game. And I like to listen to the music from the game. If it's a specific game. Because that's kind of my, kind of my tribute to it. Because I really, really enjoy I really enjoyed Hat in Time. I really enjoyed Chicory. I thought Chicory was a beautiful experience. Lots of color. Lots of color, lots of positive vibes. Lots of, lots of negative vibes too. But in, like, like an expository way. A as in, like, we bring these up because it happens. We bring these up because we want to talk about it. We want to talk about people feeling, like, insecure about their achievements. We want to talk about people who feel depressed. We want to talk about these types of mental health issues. Or uh, maybe, let's not... Yeah, let's, let's say they're issues. I'm not sure if issues is the right word to use there. But for, for lack of a better term, I would call it a mental health issue. It's a mental health, like, um, disease? Like, in the nomenclature of, like, medical terminology? But I don't like that. I don't like that word either. I'm gonna call me mental glitch. Mental glitches also sound incredibly like, I don't know. I don't have the right word for it. For those. Disorders? Maybe that's the proper term? Disorder? I really haven't done my research on that. If somebody out there has better information for me to keep me up to date on that, like the nomenclature and proper terminology, I would more than happily listen to keep myself in the right frame of mind. I think this is another fight. This is another boss scene. It's also like, this game's got a lot of different types of music in it. Like, not they're not all the same. And I love that. And I think I've only skipped one so far because I was just like... I just wasn't feeling it at the time, but usually, like, I, I'm actually kind of tuning it out right now. This music allows for my brain to settle on a particular track and continue moving forward. Like, time has gone on. It's been almost two hours now, and it hasn't felt like two hours because my focus has been on the picture. And this, in my opinion, this is relaxation. This is that mindfulness where I can sink my time into something for hours, not working, worrying about the time, not worrying about what's going on and just existing. Granted, you know, if something happened in chat, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap back into it because, like, that's a part of the fun. That's a part of me being in the moment. Like, I feel like, like, 
Me being in the moment, if I was meditating out in a field and somebody came up to me and just started chatting with me or a police officer told me, please get off this property, you were trespassing, I would come out of that state in a very relaxed manner, I'm sure, a very relaxed point at that point, and be like, oh, okay, and then continue the conversation or leave the premises as appropriate. I have not been in a situation where I have told not to trespass, however, I have trespassed in the past. Trespassed through the past? Trespassed the past. I don't know. Honestly, I often get really, really, like, antsy about, like, whether a, something looks good or not, and I... I think this looks alright so far. I, I am very happy with how this is turning out so far. So... Thank you all for keeping me company as, as we do things like this. And of, of course, you are joining along at home. That's awesome. I'm not sure if you have played, if you are following along at home, I'm wondering if you have played Chicory. Have you played Chicory? You should totally play Chicory. If you don't have the money to play Chicory, that's okay. You should watch somebody play Chicory. If you're into people who voice the characters like me, you should watch me play Chicory. Or somebody else, your favorite. Or um, if not, maybe a silent playthrough. I don't know. I, I'm not a very silent type of person. I consider like playthroughs that have no sound, but like I don't have the skill to do that, and that's just that's not my selling point. I've been told my voice sounds really good by other people. I don't tell myself that. Or at least I used to not tell myself that, but like after a while, like, kind of sticks there. Well, that looks cool. I like that. I definitely want to fill in at least a little details of the bench in the back, but I want to use a different color. I don't want this dark color anymore. I'm not sure if I need this anymore, but this was the plum. Hey, let's, uh, this is the, pl I don't know where to put it. There we go. Plum brown. Plum brown. Plum Bob. I'm gonna remember Plum Brown by Plum Bob. Plum Bob is like the little dongle on the bottom of a pendulum, I think. I'm gonna try to find like a lighter black for this. Not too light. Actually, yes, light black. Light black. Let's go back to the color. Color zone. There's not really a light black, a light brown there. That's like a gold. This is like yellows and stuff and oranges. Not really one hey, look! An entire panel of browns. Sweet! Ow! Ow. The plastic's really sharp down there, and I just scraped my hand, my arm on it. I'm all right. I'm okay. There we go. I like this one. What color is it? I don't know. Maybe it's a rich mahogany. Can't really tell. Not really good with that stuff. I'm not like that guy on the internet who like like replicate any colors or like any color or like the guy who can tell you like all the physics and theory behind like the color wheel and how it's inherently ac inaccurate oh i definitely didn't line those up on either side eh whatever it's ours so we keep with it maybe i might add some color to the bench too actually that'd probably be pretty cool i'll add my own spin on it actually one of the whole point like for those who aren't familiar like one of the whole points of that game was like you as uh, the wielder, which is a person imbued with the power of color, you you as the wielder can bring color to the world. Nobody else can do that, except for, like, the scientists. Or rather, a single scientist. Like, every... And it, it gets passed down through generations. Uh, this, this brush. And you get to paint the world. You get to draw the world with color, imbue it with color the way that you see fit. So I... I don't know if I need my reference anymore. Do I need my reference anymore? No, I don't need my reference anymore. Okay, that, we're going freeform now. You must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. Freeform coloring. Don't need that anymore. We don't need it. No more, no more reference. We're getting rid of it. This is what it feels like to be alive. This is what it feels like for creative expression. I don't often like, let my thoughts wander when doing a piece of art. I think the only times I usually do something like that is, like, uh, like painting I've done. I I'm planning on doing a painting stream at some point. Um, at some point. Not, not anytime soon, probably. 
But like, I, I'm a little more like, I, I feel more confident about my drawing abilities more so than my painting abilities. But like, it doesn't have to be good. It's perfectly imperfect. We've discussed this. Totally discussed that before. Um, I did a little piece of, I did a painting the other day. Um, wasn't really feeling in a good- I have to paint when I'm in a really bad mood. Like, either, like, sad bad or, like, mad bad. And then I try to put that into the canvas. One of the paintings that I have up on my wall was done when I was very mad. Very angry. Very angsty. And the other one was done when I was very sad. But the other one that I did when I was very sad wasn't actually finished yet. Wasn't actually finished yet. I'm not ready to showcase that. It's not done yet. Maybe one day we'll have an art show. We'll have a streamed art show. Everybody can show their, showcase their art. Do you like to art? Do you art? Do you like to draw? In all seriousness, no. Oh, if you do like to draw, we've got a channel that we've got dedicated to art on our Discord server. Not that I'm trying to advertise it or anything. I'm, like, I'm just saying, like, more in the case of, like, if you've got this to share and you feel like... Because one of my biggest problems is, like... I've got this art and I want to share it somewhere and I just don't know where to put it. Like, I don't know what Reddit to put it on. I don't know what other place. To, I mean, there's art servers. And, there's art channels and other servers. And what's stopping me from posting them there as opposed to my own? I don't know. I feel more, obviously, I kind of feel more comfortable in my space. Like the space that I set up. Or I and, obviously, I and the community set up. I kind of like that better. But like, that, that's that's just me. It doesn't, doesn't have to be. I'm going to add what add now? I need a light I need a lighter lighter black color. Or brown black brown? Brown. For the inside of the bench. As the music gets all funky wonky in the background. Cause I want to distinguish the bench from the rest of the background. So let's add that. I'm just gonna do like a rough little shade so far just to denote what is bench and what is not bench I'm very I'm very satisfied with this so far and I'm not sure if that sounds like like very very selfish like oh what I'm doing is absolutely wonderful like I'm usually very I, I don't have a lot of like I guess confidence is the right word for it. I'm rather confident in things, confident in things like that. But like, I'm always like, it could be better, and it definitely could be better. There's always a way to make it better. But like, I see that point of where it could be and where it is now is like not super far. It doesn't feel unreasonable. Like, if there were more steps to make this particular one the best that it could possibly be for my abilities, it doesn't seem too far off. Like, anytime you make, like, a goal or anything like that, like, you gotta try to make it realistic. And if it's not realistic, dial it back a little bit. It become realistic eventually. Like, if your goal is to become a millionaire, that feels a whole hell of a lot more, like, attainable if you've already got $900,000 than if you've only got a couple hundred. Like, it's all about, it's all about, like, perspective. Like, I, I was, I was schooled upon... Let's see, really take a drink of water. Not be keeping hydrated. I was, I was ra Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm just a total mess over here. I learned the schools. The schools taught me the way of the electrical engineer. And so, one of the main concepts you learn for electrophysics, electrics, if you will, is that is the concept of a voltage. And a voltage is literally a potential difference. A potential, in this case, not being like something could potentially happen. I mean, it could potentially happen. But a potential is in, like, some sort of value. There's a value over here. There's a value over here. There's a potential over here and a potential over here. And if there is a difference between those potentials, you have a voltage. So a voltage is literally meaningless if you have no reference. Your goals have no meaning. That This might be a bold statement. And I'm not sure if I totally believe it myself, but I'm going to say it anyway. Your goals have no meaning if they're not in reference to something. Either reference to something that you know to yourself, or, I guess, reference to some sort of external median. Again, I'm not saying, like, compare yourself to others to put yourself down. But if you see somebody else as being farther than you are, 
and you want to be at that point too, maybe you're feeling a little envious, maybe you're feeling a little like, oh, I wish I had what they had, then you can work towards that. And just saying like, oh, I just want to be like, like Mr. Johnson is like, who does like all these great, great and wonderful things is like realist. It's unrealistic. Unless you get like have like certain qualities, like what 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 does Mr. Johnson do? I don't know. Maybe Mr. Johnson paints. Like you can paint too. There's nothing stopping you from painting. It's easy. And maybe Mr. Johnson paints like pictures of landscapes. And they're like, well, I can paint. And painting pictures of landscapes are hard because I don't have any landscapes. Like, oh, okay, well you can. Maybe maybe in order to have your landscapes, you need to travel. Well, you could travel. Maybe you don't travel right now, but like maybe you can't travel right now because you don't have a car. Or you're, perhaps you're, you're, you have a lack of mobility. Like, that's okay. You can get yourself something that gets you, gets you mobile, like a scooter. Or a wheelchair. Or somebody to help you go around. A car that's accessible or something like that. Like, you could reach that point, but it's like, it's like baby steps. Baby steps. We get, we get there. We'll get there eventually. With the power of togetherness, we'll all get there together. I'm also the kind of, I, I, I hate asking for help from people. And oftentimes, unless I do ask for help from people, like, my goals are unrealistic. Uh, the effort I have to put into things is just way too much. And I have learned, as I've been getting older, that it's okay to ask questions. It is okay to admit I do not know. It is okay to just, like, t totally admit it. Like, yo, I don't... I started this new job, right? And I don't know I, I don't know a lot of what's going on. And they've been, like, incredibly good with trying to... Attempting to convince in me, a rather hard to convince person in this area, that it's okay to ask questions. It's okay to say you don't know what's going on. Ask your questions because, I mean, I think of it this way. If I don't ask questions and I, like, pretend that I know what we're talking about, I'm going to look like an idiot. And I don't want to look like an idiot. And, and I, no, let's say I don't look like an idiot. I don't want to look like... I think... Okay, I think of it this way. I will look more ignorant... If I say I do know something and can't substantiate it, then saying I don't know it at all and just being honest about it. And I think some people probably feel differently. I know previously I felt differently about it and still kind of feel that way. But I'm not perfect. I'm perfectly imperfect. I've got my goals. I've got where I want to be. I like that. Uh, oh, I completely forgot there's a little, little divot down there that I forgot about. There we go. I've almost done the bench. Almost done the bench. Bench time. Almost done the bench. Heck bench. Yeah. I do not sit on benches. Not very often. Unless I need to. Honestly, so another thing is, I think I mentioned before, I started riding my bike to work. I've owned a bike for five years and haven't used it until... I haven't used it since uh, until just Monday. Whatever muscles in your body... Like, I, I run with Anna... And I thought that my legs were going to be okay. I was like, man, running's going to prepare me for bike riding. Like, no, not completely. Apparently, there's more muscles in the bike riding than there are in the running. Because my legs are killing me. Specifically, they are the muscles that help you walk downstairs. Because my legs feel like jelly when I walk downstairs in the morning at work. Jelly legs. Actually, I feel, from the perspective of this photograph this little thing here that I want to add a little stand here I want to add a stand there so I will I think that looks okay to me that's what I'm gonna add that's my li the first the first official addition that I have made to my own drawing and actually that color comes out a little bit differently because I don't have a graph uh, I don't have any graphite underneath it so I'm just gonna add a little darkening there just a, just a tad to kind of bring things together that actually gives it a different look than just just the brown I'm cool with that and I might actually do a little over here too, it gives it a little, it's a little darker and I'm kind of into that the music is very creepy, what song is this? the song is You're Not Real I am not real, I am just a figment of your imagination just a figment Alright, now, I'm gonna add some color to those flowers up there. Actually, you know, you know, I wanna add a couple of, like, I don't know, there's... I don't do wood very well. I don't, I don't do pictures, uh, I don't do woody drawings very well. But, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's add some, like, holes in the wood, perhaps. Like, some, um, here's a little, there's a little hole in the wood. A little knot, a little knot in the wood. Add a little graphite behind it. 
I'm not sure if this is gonna come out. How it's gonna come out. So I'm just gonna go for with a couple of couple of grains of that wood. I don't know, just something like something like that. Something like that. The music is sinister. The music can be sinister. It actually kinda looks like Jupiter. Like, you know what? I'm totally into it. I'm totally into it. I like the fact that it kind of looks like Jupiter. So we're gonna... I'm gonna full-on head into that looking like Jupiter thing. That's that's the wood. To somebody else, it may not look like Jupiter. To most people, I'm sure it probably doesn't look like Jupiter. But, it's Jupiter-esque to me. And I like it. Also, it's fun to make squiggles. So, that's my excuse. It's fun to make squiggles. I like squiggly lines. Yeah, I'm gonna add another knot down here. Add another knot down there. No thanks. I'm gonna add a little graphite behind them all. I just think it looks cooler that way. Actually, does it? Uh, I don't think the graphite makes much of a difference. I'm actually gonna nix on the graphite. Speaking of Jupiter, I have always wanted to go to space. And one day, I plan on going to space. That's a that's a that's on my bucket list. Space is definitely on my bucket list. I just always enjoyed like I've always wanted to go across I've always wanted to go into the ocean. I have always wanted to like this probably sounds like a fear to most people. Like like go on a deep sea boat ride and just hang out there at night and watch the stars. I think it stemmed from my desire to watch a star-filled sky. I have never really seen, been in an area with a lack of light pollution that's substantial enough for me to actually see like the Milky Way. I've always wanted to see the Milky Way and I've never been able to do so. That's on my bucket list. From that, I've always been into space and astronomy. Not as much into astronomy as those people who go off to like space camp and stuff, but. But I do like space. And I will go to space one day. Not deep space. Like, I want to see the stars. It, I feel like it's a lot easier to see the stars when you're in space. Or when you're out at sea where there's no light. Because you're not being... I guess there's no light pollution or anything like that. But yeah. Alright. Now, I'm going to put these browns back. I'm going to find some colors for the flowers up there. I need some greens. I think I need some greens. Did I get some greens? Do I even need the greens? Can we go crazy? Can we use a different color? Can we go crazy? Am I crazy? Am I crazy feeling right now? Not really. Not feeling that crazy. Not not in that regard. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with something a little better. Let's pick one of these colors. I like it. Pink, bombastic, fuchsia, exciting. Peach, salmon. I'm into it. Uh, you? No. You. I think that's flower colored. Definitely one of the flowers. Which flower? I don't know. Dare I say it might even be leaf colored. Eh, nah, not really. Let's work on the flowers. Gotta put those in view. I want this flower over here to be that sort of dark pink color. Actually, that's not a very, that's a very nice pink. I want a bombastic pink. Something deeper than that, like this pink. What looks more... This looks more... So, like, the actual pencil here looks darker, but the graphite looks darker on the other one. Incredibly misleading. Very bad reference. Not funny. Didn't laugh. In terms of the colors of my pencils. I might actually wind up going through the flowers up here, and removing the graphite underneath with an eraser because I don't know how much I like the graphite underneath the pinks and stuff up here. I feel like those ones probably shouldn't have been traced at all. But it is not a mistake. It is merely an opportunity. Let's go for it. Yeah. Not bad at all. I do kind of want to... You know, from afar, I think the graphite looks great. 
Like like from my angle, it looks a little looks a little eh, but like from from this angle, I think that looks all right. So now I want to fill that in with some. Oh, I want to do a full I want to do a full wipe like this, very lightly, and then I'm gonna fade in from the the darker color. And in case that explanation didn't make any sense at all, you're totally right. I'm just babbling. I'll just do it, and then I guess we can all just watch. And if it comes out, eh, then it comes out, eh. Honestly, half of the projects I've ever worked on, out, worked on came out, eh. There are a lot of people out there, I, I mean, I feel like a common motivational phrase is like, give your 100% like all the time, like, okay, follow up. Let's not give our 100% all the time. Let's not burn ourselves out. What we should do is we should subconsciously allocate like a certain like portion of my energy that I can give for the day and then give 100% of that. So technically that 110% is a little bit extra than what you allocated for the day. I don't think that really makes much sense either. But like, let's say if this page is the gauge, right? This is, this is all the energy that you can have in a day. This is not 100%. We've only got up to the schnoz over here. From down here up to here is the reasonable amount of energy that I can give on any particular day. Because if I keep like this, on average, I will not burn myself out. I should try to give this 100% a day. Or at least come within a certain interval of that 100%. The brown will be the 110% and the pink will be the 90%. I want to try to hit this mark every day or come within these two bounds. If I'm all the way up at the blue pencil all the time, I'm going to burn myself out. And if I burn myself out, then this whole this whole section here will start moving downwards. I'll be able to I will only be able to get less energy. This might even decrease too. We want to keep this as high as possible. That median point there, the 100%, as high as possible without reaching that maximum to burn yourself out. That's a little complex. I get that. Made a little less sense to me. Made a little bit more sense to me as I went through it, but you know, everybody's got their everybody's got their shtick. Everybody got their shtick. I I love this flower up here. I like it. I enjoy that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do before. I'm gonna like kind of do some darks around like the outside of the petals and then fade that in or at least i'm going to try to never done something like this before so we'll see if that even works out i'm sure it'll be just fine I'm sure it'll work just fine i like i love how i kind of tell myself like we're gonna try this and see if it works out like it's it's gonna work out it'll it'll be fine like there's literally no risk here if 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 i like miscolor like it's fine i can draw over it i can erase it like there's no risk here i'm not using pen or anything like that i'm not that kind of doodle artist not that kind of boy there's literally no risk here but like yet i still feel like there are there there's stakes like there is a st there there are stakes here stake like the stakes are high not stakes as in like the stakes are stacked high because it's 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 beef night at your local country bar and grill not that kind of steak Steak, not steak like is in you stab Dracula. Wrong kind of steak. Also, steak is in like the stakes are high. Like we're staking it all on this moment. This moment. I just realized some of them were actually misdrawn. But, you know, that's what I was just saying. That's what I was just saying. I was trying to do it from the outsides and I started, I mean, it's kind of the outside. Whatever. It's beautiful. I like it. I'm gonna do like a shade and on in there. I'm trying to. I think the only art classes I've ever taken, aside from like the regular ones they make you do in like high school, regular ones, I say that as if that's normal for everybody. The, the the expected ones, I guess the equivalent of your gen eds and stuff, but high school version. Was it an art museum over near my hometown? And it was painting based and like, you know, my parents were really proud of the paintings I did, but I was never proud of them. We tried to paint real life things, things that we were looking like still lifes. 
I am really bad at still life painting. I'm kind of bad at still life drawing, too. I can do it. I have to spend a disproportionate amount of time on it. Then something like this, for instance. This is so far taking me about two hours? Alright, that's cool. I did a self-portrait of myself once for my fiancé that I put a little poem on the back of. It was so cute, and it looked alright. It took me, like, a few days to get through. And, like, hours at a time, like... A few days of, like, four-plus hours at a time as I watched, like, television shows to keep my mind on it. Honestly, if I did something like that again, I wouldn't probably wouldn't be watching television. I'd probably stream it if I did something like that because, honestly, stuff like that should be documented. That should be... Do like, I think of it this way. Another one of the reasons that I wind up streaming stuff like this is because, like, I think it should be documented. After I am gone... Somebody will be able to benefit from this stuff. If anything that I say or anything that I do on here will benefit somebody one day, I think it is totally worth it being up there. I've always liked that idea of kind of things living beyond myself. And I don't know if it ever will. And if it never does, that's totally fine. I'll be satisfied anyway. I don't need to worry about that so much. What I think I and what most people should be focusing on is living your life trying to be happy trying to make the most of what you know your, your parents or whoever paid for that test tube whosoever genetics you got whoever your caregivers are like to kind of like make it make, like i don't know make it make it worth it i don't know where i was going with the whole parents thing but make it make it worth your while in this world if that means living for other people great that means living for yourself? Great. If your life is more about you doing you, great. I for one like to help out people if I can. I mean, if the opportunities present themselves. I don't like to, like, turn down an opportunity to help somebody. But, like, some things I just want to be totally, totally, totally me, like me on. Totally me on. Like, one of the things that I've talked over with my fiancé a bit is, like, you know, I, I like to hang here in my apartment in Philly. I, I, love, I love my parents. I, I love my family. I love them very, very much. However, I really value my own space. I don't want to be at home with the parents all the time. Like, I've kind of grown into, like, I feel very comfortable in this space. I like being able to do all this, use all the stuff that I surround myself with. And maybe that's a little materialistic, but, like, I'm a little, I'm a little materialistic. I suppose some people might say, like, wow, that's that's terrible. Like, you, you prefer your stuff over your parents? Like, no, 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 no. It's not quite correct. It's like, as the default, like, as the default, I would rather be in a place where I'm like, whatever I want, whatever I want to do, whatever I, I need to do to keep my mind, like, like, in a positive state, I want to be where that stuff is. Like, all my pencils, all my drawing equipment, my streaming equipment, my gaming computer, all that stuff, like, that stuff brings me joy in life, and I would rather, I would rather be, like, by, by default, in that location. Which kind of, there's a benefit to that, I think, because if I don't see my parents literally all the time, I don't feel like I get tired of them. I'll admit, and I'm sure some other people feel this way as well, is like, I lived with my parents for a long, long, long time, like, 18 years. And when I had the opportunity to go off into the world, and not everybody feels this way, obviously. I went with it. I wanted to experience it out there. I wanted to see what the world was all about. I wanted to get out of my parents' house because at that point, I, I guess for better or for worse, I was, kind of, I was kind of fed up with them already at that point. But then as time went on, I really started missing them. Really started like, like you don't like, you don't know what it's got, what you got until it's gone. I didn't know what awesome parents I had until I moved out on my own. And I try to seize most opportunities to go see them if I can for events or things that we do as a family when my other when my other brother comes home or when my youngest brother is still at home. He's still at home. He's in college right now. Or college? No, sorry. Uh high school right now. But like if I if I can see them, I will. I will do that if I can. But aside from that, by default, I'll be in my apartment. I like it up here. I got friends up here too. I can call my parents. Call your parents. Have you called your parents today? If, if your parent, if your parents are worth calling, and that means something different for everybody, but if your parents are worth calling, give them a call. 
We could take that from like a more morbid route, like you never know when you might lose them. Which is which is true. Unless you can see their death times, in which case. Weird. That's pretty that's pretty interesting. It's pretty creepy. What are you, a uh, death god or something? Shinigami? Shinigami? I think it was Shinigami. That's like the I think that's the Japanese word for god of death. And I only know that because I watch Death Note. Or I only think I know that because I watch Death Note. I could be wrong about that. And I might be. And if I am, cool. Please, the gods of anime, come down and swiftly correct me. And if I'm right, I mean, you could you could tell me I did a good job. But you don't have to. There's no pressure. There's no pressure there. You don't gotta. Flower up there. Um, it looks like they were, I shouldn't have put those pinks away. You know what? That's a fine. I put the pinks away. I see another little flower up there that I want to make pink as well, but I put the pink away. So, keep them with it. And I kind of did the same thing over here that I did with the other colors. Weird that I'm making a flower a kind of bluish green. Like, the leaves should be that color. No, not this time. We're going crazy. We're going crazy. And it's not crazy. Crazy's not a very happy word. Again, some of the music in this game Totally hummable Totally at a point where you could totally hum it All the time All the time, every day, all the time And sometimes I do Often I do This one in particular I went to go visit a uh, buddy of mine uh, before I went on my family vacation. Good, good buddy of mine. I stayed at his apartment for a little bit down south. Um, and he would go off to work in the morning. And so I'd be all on my own some. And I'd do, I, I'd clean his dishes and stuff like that. Because, you know, if I'm, I'm, if I'm staying in your house rent-free, I might as well feel to myself that I've earned it. Or I'd kind of work on some, uh, some freelance stuff at the time. Well, I, but, but I'd try to take, like, a moment in the morning to... Relax and collect myself. And I, I listen to a bit of chicory music to do that. I did indeed. I will I will definitely admit that. Usually the more... It, most of the time, like, the more laid-back stuff. I got to listen to a couple of bands that I hadn't gotten the opportunity to, like, listen to music for. Like, when I, when I work, when I work work, I will sometimes listen to new music and put on, like, the Spotify radio so I can discover new stuff that's similar to what I already listened to. But I haven't really done that type of work to be able to discover those music, that music. So, I haven't been discovering artists recently. So I kind of went back and listened to some of the artists, like the new stuff that I missed. New stuff like uh, the band I listened to. I've mentioned them before. AJR, beautiful band, beautiful people, beautiful brothers. Got good music. Listen to their new album, Bummerland. Or OK Orchestra. It's called OK Orchestra. And the album, or the, one of the songs is Bummerland. Goes like, Bummerland, here I am, and it makes my thumb a plans. Bummerland, give a cheer, cause you're really going up from here. Supposedly that one's about like literally hitting rock bottom and being like, eh, whatever. Yeah, you can only go up from here, I guess. And I think that's beautiful. Personally vibe with that one. Personally, personally vibe with that one. All right, let's see. I got a couple of colors here. I want to do this little nectar flower up here. I want that to be like the, the darker yellow. I have to push a little hard into that. Push a little hard into the tip there. Because I want to get a nice bombastic yellow. I always have problems with yellow. As I'm sure some folks do as well. But that's looking all right. Not bad on the big screen. Not bad. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of that... Um, I feel like I need a gold, like a goldish color for that honey. That nectar. I'm gonna go with an orange. Orange will work. Kind of like a nice dark. Dark there. That'll kind of move into this secondary light. Kind of mix with that. And then a very light. And that one I don't think this I don't think that needs the graphite at all. No more graphite. No graphite.
that is not too bad. And honestly, the, I, I didn't think the erasers would really erase the colored pencils, but they kind of did. That worked. I like that. That's so cute. I'm totally into that. There we go. I'm going to add some same nectar stuff up there. But a little bit more. All right. Time to complete the rest of the flower. That's a very light yellow. That's not going to be very easy to see. You know, actually, I think, come to think of it, in this book, this is the only drawn, like, fully colored picture I have. That's pretty cool. Actually, I did do, I did do fully colored pictures in the past. I did the, I did one for each of my immediate family members. I made Maleficent, the Disney evil, one of the Disney villains for my mother. I did a scene from the Planet of the Apes for my father. I did a Dogecoin for my youngest brother. And the main character of the game Cave Story, whose name is Quote, as in I quote. And uh, that was that was really that was a really awesome Christmas. I, I felt like I mean, it wasn't a really awesome like time in my life. But like it was a very awesome Christmas. I felt like very connected to my family at that point. I like that. Very, very into moments like those. They don't they get few and far between sometimes. But it was good. It was good. I just want to apply this yellow over here. This this feels like this feels like yellow territory. Not sure why, but it totally feels like yellow territory. Not like not like graphite yellow territory. Just just pure yellow. And I am totally cool with that. Add a little just a little darkening to denote that like it's kind of a flower. Or it could be like that could be like the, uh, like the part inside the flower. I, I'm not a, I'm not a biologist like that. I'm not, just, I don't really, I don't got that. So I don't know what the inside of it's called. The pollen, the pollen area. Like whatever, whatever structures inside of the flower house the pollen. That's what that is. That's what that be. And I grabbed the green color too. I'm going to do a green color for this leaf and then for this little pine guy down there. A little spiky reminds me of the evergreens back at my parents house and actually i'm gonna do that the same thing i've been doing before on the leaf but i'm not gonna do that on this guy this is going to be hard green hard green hard green on that one i don't know i feel that i feel that it reminds me of spearmint gum I like spearmint i like mint mint that's why i've got an entire mint man mint mint plant Menthol Man, the mint plant, will probably suffer while Anna and I are on vacation because I really don't have a method by which to water my plants remotely, naturally, or um, while I'm gone. I remember like once upon a time when I actually watched TV, like there was a product for that. Like it was a little glass bulb thing that you would fill up with water and would water your plants automatically. Like I don't remember what that's called. Um, I'm sure it's out there somewhere and I don't, I'm not going to bother going to the store for it. I only have one more day left up here in the city before Anna and I head out. I'm gonna go home tomorrow and watch the new Marvel movie that came out, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I have no idea what to expect from that. I have not watched the trailer. I just know it's about a guy, probably a superhero, and his rings. Distinct from Sonic the Hedgehog, who also has rings, but I, I don't think... Sonic feels less to be described as the term just a guy more like an animal like when i think when i think of the term guy i think of like i, I think of like a humanoid person I think like you, you got you got you humanoid you're uh, anthropomorphic and i mean I, or i guess sonic the hedgehog is rather anthropomorphic so i kind of alley-ooped myself there kind of alley -ooped. kind of alley -ooped there I definitely want to play some more Sonic games too, but I talked about that recently, I think. That'll be something fun to do eventually. Got the little leaf up there. Um, I feel the need for some lighter yellows in the background for that other flower over there. So like perhaps something like this. 
Just something that's not accentuated by any darker color. But like something like something like that. Just to like fill things out a bit. Fill up the ambiance. A little more yellow over there. Um, I guess I'll try to go with like a Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, that freaked me out. <laughs> Apparently one of the command hooks on the wall that was holding a jacket fell down. And the sound of, I guess, tape ripping off the wall terrified me. There'll probably be more of that coming down in a bit. I can see, I can see that, but that's not a, that's not a right now problem. That feels like a later on Cameron problem. But it scared me. I thought there was something like crawling around. Cause there very might be things crawling around. We've still got water damage in our apartment. But uh, our landlords are working on it. I've been in contact with the property manager. That will be resolved eventually. I like that. That's a beautiful green up there. Let's add another little bit of that green over here. I think... Let's say that plant goes all the way downwards. Let's extend that, that greenness down here. I'm okay with that. Now let's add, let's add a little bush back there too. I don't know. We can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we like. Cause we're drawing a picture. Do 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 What song is this one? I'm not sure. I mean, I recognize the tune, but I... This Colorful World by Lena Rain. Eventually, there's another song in here too. That's, it's the song of the wielder, but it actually has lyrics to it. It's called, I think, The Mountaintop. And it's all about kind of being in that position up on the top. Like, everybody, everybody's looking up to you. And they're all trying to have, they want a good role model. But you, you know, you're kind of making things up as you go along. Ooh, I was saying, I was saying before that I was going to point out this song. This is the sup, this is the song Supper Woods. And this is the first song from Trickery that I heard that made me play the video game. So, Supper Woods, this one. This one here, this is the one. It's a, it's a good one. And you know, I, I just realized I never added any color to my actual character here. I'm gonna add a little blue to those overalls. That'll be one of the... Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and my, my blues next. That's what I'll do. The blues will be the final colors. The penultimate color. The penultimate color on our journey. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know, so, something about this song like, get, gets me, gets me bopping. Really gets me bopping. I'm gonna do this light blue for like the remainder of the background. Kind of give it a little blue over there, like almost like this clear blue sky. I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up, but I'm into it. And I'm gonna try to do it like arcing away, so like the center looks, uh, I, I, like like almost, yeah, you can kind of see that. Yeah, that kind of shows up. A little blue back there, a little blue in there. Yeah, you know, that's not bad at all. You know, I kind of want to add something down here, too. What, down here? I forgot. I was out of camera. This is out of camera range. But what? What do I add down there? More blue. I'll add another, you know, I'll add another plant down there. And it'll be like a little, little blue thing. Okay. 
Yeah, little little uh little flower down there. I like that. I'm into that. Just so it's not like totally barren down there with with like the sky blue color that I had going there. Cause I don't really want I want more than that. I want more. Anyway, supper woods. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Beautiful composition. Beautifully wonderful composition. If I do say so myself. Beautifully wonderful composition. Props. Props to the props to the creator. And of course, like many other songs of the games. I think one of the ones like some of my favorites are Supper Woods. Um The Color Lab. The Mountaintop. Song of the Wielder. Dinners is pretty exciting. That's one of the cities in the game. I think I was using this color. Was I using this color for this guy? Well, I am now. Maybe it was this one? It was this one. It was this one. This one here is... I think when you're meeting... This one's called Her Wretched Utterances. And you meet the the king of like like the queen of like bugs or something like there's an entire colony of bugs that live beneath the world and they live in a place called feast as you can tell there's a lot of food related stuff to this game lots of food related stuff in case i hadn't mentioned it before my character's name because they ask for your favorite food as a character name and so i got sushi and mac Sushi and Mac, who later changed their name to be Sushi Mac because they didn't want the ampersand. Okay, let's add a little blue to our overalls over here, and that will that will probably continue, conclude our our picture session, our our drawing session before we move on to the cosplay side of things. Just like a, just like a little blue, not completely, but just enough to get across that like these are probably jeans. Just like a, like a, like I'm trying to blend it with the actual white of the page, if I can. Except up here. And over here. These deserve to be completely filled in. But like everything else, like a... Oh, I think this is the, the mountaintop. This is the mountaintop. Yep, this is the one. Full lyrics, and I think it is just beautiful. I think this is the perfect song to end this, the, to end this drawing, the drawing part on. I, for one, find this song rather inspiring. It's just got that... I don't know. The words kind of... The words kind of describe, like, being up on this mountaintop and everybody's looking up to you and you kind of have doubts in yourself of, like, whether you really deserve this position or not. But then... Yeah. It, it's, it's all through the song and whatnot. But uh, I think it's... I think it's beautiful. The whole game was beautiful. This has been... My tribute to Chicory, a colorful tale, a lovely tale. It's beautiful. It was a beautiful game. Beautiful, beautiful game. And beautiful, beautiful story as well. From this point, I'm going to transition into cosplay stuff, because I have a convention that I'm going to. And I'm going to switch the music over to stuff that is lo-fi based, to better suit the mood. After this song ends, I'll let this song continue, and then 
then we'll move on to other things. In the meantime, I'm gonna collect up some of my. Co oh, you know what? What am I doing? I gotta, I gotta sign the picture. I gotta sign it. This is C C J. I, I try to make my signature like okay looking. It's a, it's a little. It's like my, it's like my monogram signature. And I'll try to draw it in place. There we go. It's supposed to be C and a J, because those are my first two initials, and some people call me CJ. Honestly, with this type of picture, I don't think just the, just the single stroke is, does it justice. There we go. I think it's beautiful. That's pretty cute. Well, thank you so much, dearest. Thank you so very much. I'm gonna pack up my pencils now. And then we'll move on to cosplay stuff. I got a radio to make. Okay. Now's the part where I attempt to put all my pencils back. This is usually the work that I do like after the stream ends, but we're transitioning to something different now because I got more things to work on, so we get to watch. We get to watch. We get to watch this, this, the the pencils, and hopefully me not scratching myself on all of the uh, all of the plastic. These colors did not belong in there. They did not belong in here. They belong over here. All right. Let me put that away. Over there, over there. I'm not sure which one with the. That's the plum one. That's like the dark purple. So that stays over there. I'm gonna try to close my close my pencils off, and I don't think I'll need the pencils for any of the cosplay stuff, but maybe put that over here. And this was Chicory, everybody. This was I loved the Chicory game. It was very very fun to play. Very much enjoyed myself with it, and this has been my tribute to it. Perhaps later I'll do like a, I'll put up like a speed draw video of this. Something like that. Condense two and a half hours down into like, I don't know, five minutes or so. I'd love to see that. I don't know how to do that in my editing software, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyway, now we're going to switch to cosplay related things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my proper checks and balances for the next tracks, which is Lo-Fi Girl. Like my lo I like my Lo-Fi. Lo-fi is good. Let's let's turn that on. Very much into that. There we go. I think I'll turn that up a bit. That'll be perfect. Onwards to the next step. And then I think what I'm gonna do too is I'm actually gonna switch screen. Actually, I don't know which screen to use for this. I set up two screens, right? I've got this angle. Which is kind of like the entire view of the desk if I've got like like the big prop stuff and I got this angle. I think I think it'll work out all right. I think it'll work out okay. We'll see. Love chicory. Love sushi mac. Love dog. So we'll put that away. And that was camera draws chicory. And now, as I would change my stream stuffs around, let's edit that. Camera draws. Cameron creates. I don't know. Prop making. I guess I'll title this prop making. Prop making. Prop time. Prop making time? I don't know. And then Tombo's glasses and Kiki's radio from Kiki's delivery service. Art? Is this like arts and crafts? Makers and crafting. I guess this would be crafting. That's probably a better category. I guess. And then I'll put convention too. Because we're going to Gen Con. I like that. Yeah. Making and crafts. I've d I don't know that section, but now we're moving on. This is the time. This is the time that I mark with the stream for the video. And now we're moving on to prop making. So hello everybody again. We now we're beginning something completely different. I'm gonna go grab my the work that I've done on this so far. Actually, this is this is what I'll do. I'm gonna. I got some of this stuff over here. I'm just gonna place this here, and I'm gonna take a quick break, and I will be back in a little bit, and we shall continue from there. Peace out until then, everybody. Peace. Hello and welcome everybody back. 
gonna work on some prop stuff now. Now, my current state of thing, I need to make some glasses and I need to make a radio. I've got some reference pictures of mine that I'm gonna put up real quick. I'm gonna take, let's see, this is my current, I need to get, where are you? Where are you, reference pic? Reference pic, where are you? I know you're on here, there you are. I need to change this file to something different. I am now working on, oh, my computer has, or OBS is frozen. Just kidding, we're back. OBS is not frozen anymore. Are they not actually, I didn't actually download those ones. Hold on, let me, ooh, that's, let's see. I need Tombo's glasses. I'm gonna download that image, save that image as, Tumbo, 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 it's Tombo. This is from Kiki's Delivery Service. That's our boy Tombo, it's your boy Tombo. Gotta make his glasses. That's one reference. Got a couple others as well. Got that one, and I've got this one. We need to make Kiki's radio as well. So, we're gonna work on those. I'm gonna add a couple more image sources here. Let's go radio one. I'm gonna choose this one that I just downloaded. Yep, I'm gonna bring that down. Over here, I want the radio. What I'm interested in is the radio. So I'm gonna put, this is the back image of the radio, which I'm gonna very haphazardly place over my face for a moment as before I move it down below the one reference. Oh, which is also below my face. So let's, okay. My uh, face needs to be above that. <laughs> or rather the other camera angle, not necessarily my face. There we go, that'll work. And then, the other picture of the radio, for reference, radio two. Upload that image, and that should be this one. And that's the other one. We'll put that over here. We'll place that backwards until that fits into place. There we go. All right. So it's a little, uh, a little odd. Probably I'm gonna change that. I can probably change that. I can definitely probably change that. Let's make it so that it it doesn't look as wonky it's a little wonky but i know how to fix these things in real time so add a little cropping filter to it crop pad yeah let's just uh, adjust that around until until we've got it left crop oh you're doing it that way oh come on over here you're silly 200 200 how about 400 400 okay let's move you over there yeah, I'm, I'm into that. Let's do 500. Yep, that's, that's, that's satisfactory. A little farther down. And we'll put the other radio above it. You know, we'll, we'll that, that'll be fine. I'm not going to worry about that so much. Okay. Now we're going for it. Those are my references. I've done... A little bit with Tombo's glasses so far, and I did have a pair of... Where'd the things go? Oh my god, wait a minute. Let me go find the original glasses that look a little wonky and not so good. But I had tools. Where are my tools at? Where are my other... Oh, there you are. It was around the corner. And there should also be a box knife or something. That doesn't sound threatening. A box knife. Oh, there's the box knife. There's the box knife. Where's the box knife? That's the box knife. This is kind of my first attempt at it. It's, um, it's eh. It's my first time with EVA foam. So I'm gonna try to make it better. Um, it's like very, very frayed around the sides. I don't want it to be very frayed like that. And it kind of like, kind of fits on my nose. But like, I gotta figure out a way to keep it up there. So, made a better trace of it. I'll, I'll make it better. I'll make it better. And it's gonna be okay. And I think most of this is gonna involve me and cutting on my desk so i actually had a cutting board somewhere i don't know where that cutting board is dearest if you're listening where's the cutting board did you take it off of here you may have you definitely might have you know what we do have in place of that we've got we've got mats i have these random place mats that somebody gave me and i don't really care about them also, I grabbed yoga, go, yoga blocks that I found on the side of the road. Might be useful? I'm not so sure. Honestly, it's fair game. This is my green screen. 
I've got a green screen now. Just kidding. It's my cutting board. Um, so essentially, I'm just going to try to go through and uh, make things do better than it was before. Now, I've seen like tips online about like how to cut EVA foam, and mine always come out frayed, and the internet says that's because your knife is dull. I sharpened this so many times back and forth the other day. And I couldn't get a single, I, I couldn't get things not for it. So it's just, it just is what it is, how it's going to be. So that's what we're going to deal with. So I'm going to try to cut these guys out as best as I possibly can and make improvements on them. Obviously, if anybody comes by with suggestions on how I can do this better, dude, let me know. Because I am totally interested to learn. I am- Whoa, seriously? You just popped on down like that? You're gonna pop on in without saying shalom? What's the matter with you? Because I am a total novice at this stuff. I am a total, total novice. I would love to learn from somebody who has much more experience than I. I mean, from what I've seen so far, you're just supposed to cut, like, perpendicular to it. Like, it comes out- The back looks so, like, eh. I don't like- I don't like- I feel like I'd be better off cutting. I actually haven't tried cutting the EVA foam yet. I'm not sure if that works. It's kind of- it's kind of thick. So actually, let me see if I cut like this. Does it come out better than the box cutter? Oh my god, hell yeah it does. I'm gonna cut this. Oh jeez, this is gonna be much easier with cutting. I'm gonna cut that. Remember, I gotta keep in frame, Cam. Gotta keep in frame. I'm gonna cut in frame. I'm gonna kind of do like, um... Like a general general cut around, and then like probably make it better from there. Oh, these scissors work so well. See, we're all learning something. If the box cutters aren't working, get some scissors. Whatever works for you. Like I said before, this is my I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to 3D print these glasses, and I honestly tried my hand at some Blender design, and that's. From what I found, a pretty steep learning curve, and I didn't, I did not have the time to do that right now. So I decided I didn't think I could teach myself it and print it. I mean, I probably could have. I'm, I'm just lazy. Let's just say I'm lazy, and I didn't do it that way. So that's, that's what I'm going with. What I'm gonna try to do is kind of get like a nice angle. I, you can see like I've kind of rounded it out in silver, and I want to try to get. So there's no silver on it. That's the way that I drew it. So kind of measure twice, cut once type thing. I measured it and stuff. See, this is where this is where like a ruler would be necessary. And again, kind of like what I said before, it's a bit of a bit of an iterative process. Like this is going to be one of those cosplays that improve. Like as Anna and I get better at doing crafts, the cosplay will improve as well. And uh, hopefully I don't wind up breaking it. This is coming up a little thin, but you know, it's okay. Honestly, this looks better than any of my cuts so far. My box cutter cuts. I do not like the box cutter method. To those who subscribe to the box cutter method, teach me your ways, because apparently I'm totally doing it wrong. I don't know if better, I don't know if it's better to like do little bits like this or even, you know what? Take it slowly. Take it slowly. If I'm not going to do it perfectly, let's just cut it. Cut it off. Cut it off. New piece. There we go. Let's try that. Honestly, it's not bad at all. That is a very nice edge for compared to compared to this. What's on the inside? That's beautiful. That I can other like with the other one, it would take a whole heck of a lot of like hand sanding to make it what I wanted it to be. And I think that looks, this looks like much less sanding involved. I'm gonna try to cut around the nose area. This feels like it'll be a lot more comfortable too on my nose as opposed to like fraying. Cause like what I've noticed is uh, I, I shave my face, right? And so when I shave my face or other parts of my body, when the hair grows back, like if there's something in front of it, like for example, a mask or let's say a shirt, then I get like really, really itchy. And like these frays, the frays on the other one, it's gonna make my face itchy. I don't really wanna be itchy like that. And then these, this, these curves over here, 
didn't really treat me well. This, this is honestly still not that bad in there. Sorry, I gotta move, let me move my keyboard this way so I have like more space for like everything else. Like put this actually into the, this is centered now. Center, center. I've yet to do cosplay stuff on stream before. This is kind of my first time doing that. And honestly, I'm into it. I'm totally into it. I'm meaning to do this. I've been meaning to do more cosplay stuff, and like, streaming was always a way for me to motivate myself to do things anyway, so uh, I've been wanting to cos uh, work on the cosplay stuff, so I figured I would make a stream out of it. And we can talk about Gen Con, if you want. If you totally want to, I'll talk about Gen Con. The convention that Anna and I are going to is in Indianapolis. I live in Philadelphia right now, so it is going to be a hefty drive to get there. About 10 to 12 hours gonna be a pleasant ride it won't be alone i won't be alone i will be with my dearest anna the disney queen the Disney kwan and she's mapped out a route for us with a couple of different locations like small places along the way tourist traps and the like so that we can fully enjoy our experience and the long drive that comes with it it'll be fun it's i've never done like a really big like i've done road trips like this never won this long before to go all the way to Indianapolis, like 10 plus hours. But and I've also never done it with my fiance either, oddly enough. Like, I don't think I've ever driven this far with my fiance. I think the farthest we've driven is like the hours in New York. Or have we have we traveled somewhere else before? I'm trying to think. I don't remember off the top of my head. That we've probably done some more traveling, but eh, alas. Let me cut this piece off. So I have some better stuff to work with. The thing with, I think, the thing with cutting with the scissors is I have to be slower and more careful with it. But, honestly, I prefer that. I prefer that than having to deal with the whole foam situation. Let me just cut straight across for this guy. That way I don't have to worry about at least that angle of the glasses. Also, like, the thing is, like, this is a material that kind of bends in on itself. So kind of as you cut it... It, like, kind of moves towards it. Like, it, it's moving towards the scissor as I cut with it. But it does make for an incredibly pleasant cut. Especially, like, if you're going around, like, corners and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, that corner game is strong. Nice! Nice corner game. I'm not gonna snip that off. That's... That's maybe a job for the box cutter. It's like, it's relatively smooth. I don't have a Dremel or anything like that, just sandpaper to wind up finishing that. Like, finishing it up. But until then, honestly, first attempt, all right. All right, I can do some more cleaning up on the sides over here too. I know like there's also like certain techniques like, especially with EVA foam, like you cut at certain angles. I'm not a professional. I am a novice. I'm not very good at that stuff. Maybe one day, but not today. There was a little while, like while I was ex like doing all my grad courses and stuff, when I was questioning like why I'm doing this whole engineering thing. Do I really enjoy it? Do I want to do something else with my life? When I considered the life of a prop maker, when I watched a bunch of videos on like how to do props and like proper, like working with EVA foam, that's kind of what, you know, my cosplay stuff kind of got me into 3D printing. And I was like, could I just make props for a living? That sounds like it would be fun. Uh, but there's, it's, there's not, it's not challenging enough for me. Also, I don't know the tools of the trade right now, and I feel like it's a pretty steep learning curve. So one, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. I'm gonna try not to cut. It's also like I can't really t like with paper. Like I know when the cut, where the cut is on the paper, and with foam, I find that that's rather difficult to do. area let's see now i just gotta get that that piece in between and then the piece in the middle and then of course i'm gonna have i need to draft up like actual like parts on it kind of like like this so i can actually have the glasses on my face that's another part of it i feel like the bulk of the next efforts are going to be the it'll, it'll be the radio the radio like usually when i do cosplay stuff like this i just kind of try to figure out something that works and it doesn't have to be good just needs to work and um that might be one of those things that like i'm just gonna have to find something that just 
just works. Try to cut that off. Let me try to get as close in there as I possibly can without making a total mess. I also don't want to... I don't know, can I Can I rip the foam? I, I, I guess if I push it far enough, I could rip it? It's not really ripping, though. It's not really that bad. It's kind of flexy. Kind of flexy bendable. I'm gonna try to see if I can work with that. Or may maybe, maybe this is a job for the box cutter. Maybe this is a job for the box cutter. Time to bring in the box cutter. If, if I can. It's not super sharp, though. So, them's the caveat. Can the box cutter work? Can the box cutter work? Mm, not really. Not like the box cutter. I thought it would be a more crucial piece of the, the cosplay thing. But I think, honestly, if I just keep cutting at angles, like this, I think it'll come out better. Things like that, and just kind of like plucking them off little by little. That might be better. This is actually pretty helpful too. Like I mentioned when I was drawn before, I've got a little reference because I've got OBS up on one of my screens. And so I can kind of see like if the if the sizing of the sizing of the glasses look right. I gotta get this little piece off. Come on, get get there we go. You know? Not as bad as it could be. Could be a lot, a lot, a lot worse. Oh, how does how does that look my I don't know, I can't really get in frame. How does that look? That's not bad at all. I don't have a mirror of myself over here. I don't have a this particular camera setup does not have a view of my face. So I don't know what I look like. I can't tell. I'm just as in the dark as everybody else is. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna... I did a little pre-cutting for this with the box cutter. It's not It's not good. Don't like it. But uh, it makes it easy to kind of cut through like that and just kind of like I guess go around the edges of anything that wasn't already like pretty primed up. I guess one of the benefits of the foam is the fact that it is flexible so I can kind of like stretch it a bit to get into those hard to cut places I guess although it does make I guess the pliability makes it difficult but in different ways not sure not sure not sure not sure all right all right not bad not bad trying to get the inside of the spectacles this is gonna be really satisfying when it all like comes off unless I cut the glasses in half in which case not so not at all see satisfying satisfaction guaranteed not not guaranteed I don't have a guarantee of satisfaction on this channel I can't guarantee you would be satisfied however if I'm missing something that would make things satisfying, please drop it into the suggestions box over there. I promise I entertain any and all suggestions. You know, that is, it's a little wonky. It's a little wonky, but it's my wonky. It's a little wonky, but it's my wonky. I'm cool with that. I don't want to go after the box cutter again. I have faith in the box cutter. No, I don't. Just kidding. No box cutter. You know what? Box cutter back. Nope. God. Bye, box cutter. Get out of here. No more box cutter. Instead, I will scissor. No. Okay. Box cutter, come back. I'm sorry. I need you for a moment. Not for the same purpose as before. I need you for something bigger. Something better. Something like this. I just want to make a hole in the center. Just so I can get the scissor in there. So frayed. Ah, I hate how frayed. Like, it's so... It doesn't cut like butter. There's no butter cutting here. It doesn't cut like warm butter. A very, very cold butter cut. Very cold butter cut. Not fun. Not fun. Don't like that. Bad, bad. Bad box cutter. You served your purpose. Now, I can get the skizzy in there. And attempt to do something better. Ooh. 
When the box cutter don't work, where are you to turn? Where are you to turn when the box cutter don't do what you tell it to? I don't know. Also, I'm, I keep angling things away. I apologize. I'm gonna try not to. I need to move closer to the table so that my reference point for seeing things is better. Like I guess, like, I guess I should really just try to get like the general shape of it and then a little later try to get everything else. That seems to be the right decision. Either way, like whatever I wind up doing here, it's gonna be right anyway. Because uh, cosplay is anything you want it to be. And again, it will be improved upon eventually. This isn't like a one-shot thing. It's not like I'm competing with this. It's not like I'm trying to win prizes. Just want to dress up. Just want to make a costume. Just want to make a prop. Eventually, I think what I'll do is I'm going to try not to do this in foam. I think I'm going to try to print this eventually, I, but I need to design it. I did not give myself enough time to make a 3D model of it to actually print out. So this is what I'm left with, and that's okay. Down the line. At the very least, like it is no longer like a pertinent priority. Because, like, I feel like I get more stressed out. Like, obviously, like, as deadlines approach, like, it becomes it's, it becomes a little shoddier. And I, I'll admit, this is, a little, this is a little shoddy. But again, it will be improved upon with time. And I'm trying not to break the foam. Trying not to. Trying to remain on the lines of the cuts, however. Yeah, it's a little, like, yeah, I'm definitely cutting this at a particular angle, and it doesn't look... Proper. But you know, foam, I think, my conclusion. Foam was not the right medium for me to do this in. I have other ways that I could do this, and I sold myself short. But, either way, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Or at least I hope I did. Come on, come on, very close, very close, very close. There we go. It's sufficient enough. It ain't perfect, but it's mine. I'm gonna see like, maybe I can use the box cutter to trim off some of those nasty edges. In this lighting, I really can't see most of them, but I can see some of them, like little trails. My head is now dangerously approaching the piece of wood that I have wedged on top of a bunch of books to hold up the camera. The camera is actually right in front of my eyes. It's in there. You know, maybe if I go from the other angle, it'll be easier to see. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. But like, can't I use a sander? I don't have a sander for those small divots. I really don't. I don't have a Dremel. If I had... A Dremel, which is like a spinning tool with like sandpaper wrapped around it, it'd be a lot easier. But I don't have that tool. That's a tool that I have yet to grab. I have a lot of tools. I don't have that one. Sandy sticks really don't get the job done. At least not for this. I mean, I mean let's let's try it. You know, I say it won't get the job done, but I haven't yet tried it. So let's let's use some standing sticks. Give me the sticks. Give me the stick, boys. Sand my cosplay. Let's see. We're going from this to hopefully something like this. Let's let's see if that works. Also, like, it's incredibly floppy, right? It's incredibly floppy. So I'm not even expect. I'm not really expecting this to work. However, I will entertain the idea. I will entertain all ideas. It's kind of like, like, it kind of takes off the pieces, but, like, I could honestly just kind of, like, rip them off. Rip. 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 It's eh. It's eh. It could be better. Foam's good, but it could be better. Also, like I said, incredibly, incredibly floppy. So I'm not having a very pleasant time with this. It's actually making it even more frayed. I mean, it is kind of doing something. If I if I do like that, with a very coarse grain sanding stick, and then like work my way down 
So something that, wow, there's a lot of like, oh, there's a lot of gray woods in here. I guess work my way down to something like, I don't know, nail clippers and tweezers? Oh, tweezers is a good idea. I can, I can grab my tweezers. But like, so, so now I can see, I don't know, can you see like, it's kind of, let me try to focus the camera a little bit on. It's a little, man, this camera actually does so much better with the fine details like this. It's like, it's like tiny little Harry now. Tiny little Harry. Now don't, that's what the sanding sticks are getting me. So. Ugh. Let me try. Well, tweezers aren't going to work there. I don't know. I definitely need a Dremel for stuff like this. So this was going to, this one's going to remain a little, a little like this. I'm not going to try to get too stuck on the details, but these are the glasses. These are the little glasses, and they're going to go on my face. It's not bad. I don't think that's bad at all. I just got to find a way to keep it on my face. So actually, what I'll do is I'm going to take my headphones off so I can actually, uh, oh, that way. I can kind of size things to my face. I need, a, I need two pieces that kind of look like this. And I know I can make them out of these scraps over here. So let me, uh, I don't know. I, I gotta do, I guess I gotta do a little measuring of my face. Let's see. I'm gonna take that little scrap piece and put it against my head and see if I wrap that around my ear, kind of like that. Does that give me enough space? If I attach it kind of that length? If I do it like that and attach it, will that work? Yeah, honestly, that totally work. Yeah, I like that. I'm actually gonna use this scrap to base the the other things off of. I need a little thing like this, I guess, so I can outline. Oh, but then these scraps actually won't work because they're the wrong size. I need more foam. Boom, magic, more foam. There we go, more foam time. Boom, magic, foam time. Need some more foam. All right, well, I guess I'll kind of design it like this because it worked this time, so. I do want to make modifications to it, though. Like, I'd rather this be... Well, I, you know what? I'm, I'm into it. Let's go with that. I'm going to round that out over there, trying to keep it as not floppy as possible. I'm going to try to make this into, like, a little square over here. Square. Compared to the reference. As pure always, this is not not professional work here. Definitely not professional work. We're working with what we got. It's do-it-yourself cosplay time. Why? Because we're doing it ourselves. With whatever you've got. If you've got foam, use foam. I found, like I mentioned before, I found these yoga blocks on the side of the road. These would make great foam pieces, but Anna wants me to save them. Yes, it is. This is professional. This is professional? Okay, fine. It's professional. According to the fiance, it's professional. I'm trying my best. Is it professional because I get paid for it? No, it's professional because, like, I guess it ain't my first rodeo. You like that? They're rough shapes. But it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Competes? We're not competing this time, are we? If we're competing, I didn't know about it. All right, I'm gonna try to cut those out. We do compete. We compete. We're not competing this time, but we've competed before. I make very, uh, they're, they're rinky dinky props, but they're getting better as I learn more about the tools that I have. I learn more about things and then make them better. Makes us professional? I, I believe it. Let's go with, I want actually, I want to give myself more space for this. So I'm going to cut like this. And I want to try to make these cuts as not angular as possible. I'm going to try at least. Trying to make it not so angular. Place things in view of the camera. There we go. Camera time. 
And no, the competition is on Saturday and we're going on Friday. Gen Con, baby. Gen Con bound. Love that. Indianapolis. Indianapolis will see you on Thursday. That's when we're going in. Let me try to... I guess I'll come at it from two different angles, right? I'm going to go at it from this angle. I'm going to try to make things as good as they can possibly be. Honestly, if this works, then that scrap piece that I used was absolutely perfect. But, you know, it can be anything that we want it to be. It's perfect. Yeah, let's call that perfect. I'm going to call that perfect. I'm going to call that perfectly satisfactory. And then I'll kind of do that little, like, curve thing down there. And then perhaps modify it if it doesn't fit on my ear so well. Honestly, it kind of, that little scrap <laughs> kind of fits. So I'm going to keep with that if I can. There we go. A little curve down there. Put that in the scrap pile. I try to use most of the scrap I have. I don't know. Is there a way to like recycle EVA foam if I, if I have scraps? Like, I feel like there must be a way. I just, I just don't know of it. I knew somebody give me the details somebody give me the know-how i can't sorry i keep i keep bringing the foam up to my face and the face is over here and so like i think i don't think it's going to be as important here for this camera angle but this camera angle i think will be get will, will be more it'll be better for when we actually make the radio I'm saying right now. I'm just saying to bring it down. Boogie down, my friends. It's time to boogie down. Boogie down to cosplay town. I'm trying to move my. I'm trying to like up my scissoring technique. That sounded really weird. I'm sorry. Wait, no. Um, I'm trying to get better with scissors. Especially for these thick materials. Working on my scissoring technique. What a what a world. What a world I live in. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna try. You know? Gets the job done. Gets the job done. I think that'll be proficient. Put that over there. Let's cut out another one. Do the same old, same old. Same thing as before. Second verse, same as the first. Or at least we attempt to. Come on, cosplay. Come on, glasses. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Put that over there. That should be all right. Or get that far enough away so that it doesn't. Because, like, if I don't make the cut long enough, like, it bends the foam to the point where, like, me cutting on it kind of kind of warps it. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't like that. It's kind of hard to, like, turn the foam around as you cut it, though, too, because, like, the pressure of the scissor blades on the foam also warps it and kind of stakes it in place. Like, with paper, you can kind of, like, like cut around and turn because there's not, like, like, as you turn, it cuts the paper. So there's nothing, like, preventing it. Wait a minute. Did I do this wrong? Oh, no, never mind, never mind. I was like, th this is the part that I cut off, not... This This is good, this is good there. I got confused for a moment. Snip. Circumcision. J just kidding. Or maybe we're not. Circumcise the foam. A little, give a little snip snip. Boop. Now your problems are gone. Problems are over. Not that I had any problems before, but... Now, I kind of want to do it the now or the weirdest way. I was gonna say if I cut from the other direction, I might have easier time with like the fraying over here. I'm sure there's a technique that I'm just not aware of. There we go. Big scrap, medium scrap. There it is. 
And these get attached to these to make glasses. These are the spectacles. Now, according to Tombo, according to that reference picture that's down there, these need to go about halfway up. So I'm thinking something like this. I think that'll work. All right. So I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, I guess, crazy glue is the right thing to use for this. Crazy glue? I didn't really think this part through. I guess I'll use crazy glue. It works. And then it says I can use a heat gun for what? Binding the two together? I can use my heat gun? Oh my god, I have to try that. Excuse me, I need to go grab my heat gun. That sounds awesome. I haven't tried that. Wow, that's exciting. I like ideas from the internet. Grab the heat gun. Where's my heat gun? Where's my heat gun? Oh, huh. The heat gun was inside of this little... Yeah, the heat gun's inside of this... Uh, this is uh, it's in here. The heat gun's in here. Heat gun. That's not a heat gun. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Things are falling. Oh my god. I have. Okay. Um. Okay. I apparently have circuit boards in here. Wow! Look at that. That's cool. I don't. I don't remember that. But it's in there. That's an Xbox controller. Now you know. This is my new travel screwdriver kit. Now you know. This is my heat gun. Not this. Heat gun. And my soldering kit. Okay. It's a little bit of a mess. For finishing, keep at least one way away. Oh, not for not for sticking things together? Oh, I honestly thought you meant for sticking things together. And it says I can use a heat gun for finishing? Alright, well. I'll try that. I'm gonna these these circuits have no place here. This is not circuit time. That'll be another stream. We do circuit stuff. I work on projects and stuff like that. I like to do that stuff. All right, I need to plug this in to a wall. Never plug a heat source like this into an extension cord for prolonged periods of time. You got a wall? Use the wall. It's very possible. This is my warning. It's possible that this will trip the breaker and end the stream. Heat gun is for molding. Disney Queen, can you be more clear about what I'm supposed to use this heat gun for? Because I really want to use the heat gun. You can use hot glue to connect it. You know, actually, I like, I like hot glue. I like tacky glue. Actually, wait, what do you, what do, you do with my hot glue gun? Where's my hot glue gun? Where's my hot glue gun? Where's the hot glue? And I know you asked about the hot glue the other day. Where is that now? I have the gun. Yours is by the wall, and I bet that's where my glue sticks are. Trying to go try my glue sticks. Hot glue gun. Hot glue gun. Where are you? Glue gun. All right. Okie dokie. This is fine. One stick left. I don't know. Cool. Well, this will work. Uh, hot glue gun. Do I have a proper cord for this? Not long enough. No. Maybe there's something down here I can unplug safely. Uh, no, not really. One sec. Gotta get an extension cord. I know I just said don't plug heat sources into it, but this is like low power. behind my setup right now. Hold, please. Found a plug. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. Adhering and heat forming EVA foam by applying heat to the EVA foam using a heat gun. Adhering your... But... Dude, that's a lot. I can't... What are you saying there? 
Adhering your foam pieces together is just one small part of the process unless you're creating a piece that's completely flat, which could happen occasionally. You'll probably need to heat, foam, heat form your foam piece into some kind of curve. In general, curved foam has a tendency to pull away from adhesives because the foam will always want to be straight and flat, but choosing the right adhesive can help you get the best bond near curved EVA elements. However, it will make a difference when you can heat from your pieces. For one thing, if you use a hot glue gun before you hit your foam with your heat gun, the glue could reactivate. An old piece could be like that. Cause bond, glue EVA foam. Very pleasant information there. Thank you, Disney crew. I'm gonna plug in this heat gun. Move my tacky glue to the side. I have a plug over here now. There we go. Now the hot glue gun will, will become hot. The glue will increase in size. What did I just drop? Oh, the glue got the action the glue fell out of it. Haha. <laughs> nice. Wait that wait for that to heat up. And then I'll attach the foam pieces together. So, okay, so heat gun, not... Uh, you're supposed to research materials before using them? Oh. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I, I'm definitely not supposed to like... But I'm the kind of guy who, like, feels my way around things. I like to feel my way around, see what works and what doesn't. So, out of curiosity, let's see what happens. Because this is for bending. Let's see what happens when I take the glue gun and try to bend a piece of EVA foam. I'm gonna blow in this direction, in this direction because that's not, I don't have any other stuff that could potentially get bad. So let's try it. Oh wow, the, the light dims. <laughs> that's incredible. One inch away. Oh, I gotta do this in the thing. There we go. One inch away. If I like, curve it, will it stay in, stay in place? I curve it like this, will it stay in place? Let me try this. I curve that for a little bit. This is my, at the heat trigger, right? So let's try, I kind of heat it in this position. Kind of like, kind of like this. Try to keep that in the camera view too. Try to keep it like that. Does that work? I keep that, keep that there. We're learning to heat gun, everybody. Learning foam, the fun way. Trying to do it in the camera. I'm trying not to kill things. Actually, I think that totally worked. Don't got enough space on my desk. Yo, that totally tur curved it. Yo. Well, that's awesome. It totally worked. Well, would you look at that? This brings a whole new dimension to things. Actually, I might be able to use that when I make the radio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, well, that, that that's something we learned. That's cool. That's cool and uh, exciting. Probably not dangerous. Probably not dangerous. We're going to tell ourselves it's not dangerous. We are doing things just fine. Is that glue hot? Yes, it is. All right, let us hot glue the things together because that's what I've got. Check the instruction link if I need more info. Thank you, dearest. Thank you, dearest. Let's do a little bit there. See, I kind of got, I got to make something work. So we got a convention to go to. I'm running out of time, dude. I got to get something that works like hot glue. There we go. That, that's working. I might need more of it. Maybe. Not exactly sure. I'm trying to pull that, pull that off. There we go. Get, get. get hot glue is so sticky. Very sticky hot glue. Oh god, what are you? Why are you pulling around? Oh my goodness, because you're attached. Hilarious. Ha. Huh. Hilarious. My other piece was attached by the strings of the hot glue. That will require some post-processing later. Let's pull that off. Get that, get that gong off there. Get that gong off there. Get over there. You don't need that. You don't need that around here. Let's do some more hot glue. Will that hold on my face? We're gonna find out. Trial and error. It's the Cameron way. It's the Cameron way with cheese. 
With cheese, Mr. Squidward, with cheese. That should work. This is probably the most rinky-dinky prop I have made so far for a cosplay. But it's what we've got, so I'm gonna try to wrap the glue upwards. Wrap the glue, wrap the glue. Okay, got it on my finger, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. I'm gonna wait for that to dry completely. I got a little, I got a little, uh, I got a little tip over here. Hot glue, snip, snip, snip. Honestly, this really shows its colors. This particular example here really shows its colors in terms of uh, how it was made. It's, it's beautiful, I like it, you know? Oh, goodness, I just touched the hot glue gun tip. Let's gonna move that over there. There we go. There we go, all right. These my spectacles. These my spectacles. Let's see if we can get a proper view of this on my face. I want to see. Let me use this camera to try to test it upon my face. This angle. These are our glasses. Trying our best. Sorry, this camera doesn't focus, so unfortunateness. I want to see. If I slip it kind of like behind my ears, it should be just fine. I can tuck my hair over it. And let's take a look see. How are we looking? Haha! -ha. I think that works all right. That's not bad at all. I can wear that coat. I can wear this comfortably for a day. I'm gonna check myself in my own. Uh, I'm gonna check myself in a little photo. I'm gonna turn it around. Oh my! My phone is in sleep mode. As you can tell, my phone is in sleep mode because all of my things are in. All of my things are in black and white, which is unfortunate. So I gotta turn that off. There we go. How does Cameron look? Cameron looks... You know, I don't know if it's Tombow level. Oh, I just noticed that I don't have my pictures over here. Oh my god. Hold on a second. I put my pictures over here. My pictures. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta put those over here. Oh my god. I gotta go back to the swap page and then paste them. Oh, I only pop copied one. Come on, OBS. Oh, oops. Oh, there they are. They're just not in the right order. There we go. What the? Oh, okay. You're up in front. Then radio two. Where, why are you over here? Why are you like this, OBS? Why are you like this? There's the back of the radio. And there's the... Whatever. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that, but I did. Move them all down. Can I not? I can't move them down. I can only move them down one by one. I can't do it individual. Come on, oops. Obs, yes. What is up with you? Things to be improved upon every single day. We've learned that today. Okie dokie. Anyway. Compared to Tombo's face, this is a little... It's, it's weird looking. It's weird. But I think it's because my nose is big. Yeah? It's good for what we've got. I'm into it. Let's keep with that. That's my Tombow glasses. Those are my Tombow glasses. Version 2 coming soon. But not today. Version 2 coming soon. Not today. Alrighty then. Well, those are Tombow's glasses. Technically, those were the easy ones. And I'm sure if I try to, like, technically I should try to make this break proof. But it's only for a day. And I think it'll be alright. And if they break throughout the day, it's fine. Tombo just doesn't have glasses. It's okay. I'm gonna put this... How shall I adorn things? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Here comes the spectacles. Here they come. We're gonna put them on the camera. <laughs> that doesn't really work in this case. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Y'all are beautiful. You look, you look great, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. You should see yourselves. You should see yourselves. Also, I just noticed the lo-fi credit isn't on here. It should be on here. There we go. Now we're good. Now it's time for uh, the radio. I need better references for that radio. I have re references for the radio. Um, I've got kind of a, the reference over on the top is the back of the radio, which should be moved up a little bit. Can I, can I do that? OBS, will you, will you allow me to? 
move the photo up a little bit. Yes, that's the back of the radio. Then we've got the other one over here. I'm just going to move it a little bit. Well, just kidding. That's as much as I've got. That's what we're trying to go for. That's what we're trying to go for. So, and I need a couple of things for that. I know what I do need is I need a lanyard to keep this thing on. And I actually have a ton of lanyards in my room. So we're going to go through my lanyards and see which one will work. Got a ton of lanyards here. I'm going to use one of them for cosplay. So which one? I'm going for, I want to go for a red one. There's plenty of things here. And I see this guy. What are you attached to? You are attached to a minion keychain. It don't need a lanyard. It has a lanyard on it. What are you talking about? It's all got a lanyard. We have a minion keychain on here. I'm not going to, not going to use that. No, thanks. Um, but it's this guy. This guy here. It has a string. Well, we're, the, a lanyard's basically a string, ain't it? Okay, this is, this is wrapped around this green one. This green one has a bunch of stuff in it. How do I remove this from that? This will be the fun one. You can connect it via fabric if I'd like. I think this will be just fine. Oh, we got it. We got it. Red lanyard. Red lanyard. Red lanyard. Red lanyard. There we go. I like that. So, uh, that was a lot easier. I got that lanyard when my father was performing on a cruise. The Rock Legends Cruise! Guest pass. I'm pretty sure I had a VIP pass somewhere too, but eh. Go in the menu book. Bye bye, Rock Legends. Boop. We repurpose things. And yes, we're using this. It will be a lanyard. Now, what I will say is, this is, I think, really, really long. And I think it should be shorter. And I think I'm trying to figure out the best way to shorten this. Um, I'm thinking maybe can I, if I use, I have a little, um, I should have a, like a, a wrench up here. I might be able to grab it, pry it open a little bit, perhaps, kind of pull it up a little bit, potentially. I wonder if I get in there with a screwdriver, if I can pry that open. Because if I can pry that open, mm, maybe not. Maybe not. I think we'll keep with this for now until I actually have something to attach it to. So lanyard. Lanyard for lanyardness. For lanyardness. You never know when you might need lanyard. Lanyardness is good. Let's see about... Oi, 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 oi. The rest of the actual thing. I need my red phone. I don't have my red phone. Oh, just kidding. I do. It's over here. Nothing like cracking open a nice big thing of phone. I say that as if I know what I'm doing, and I don't. So, take that as you will. Take that as you will. Okay. That's pretty satisfying, getting to open it up. Uh, the, the foam unboxing. Gotta, gotta give it a snippy. Gotta give it a snippy. Snippy. Give that snippy, uh, snippy a good thing. All right, all that foam, plastic on the floor to be recycled later. Let's take a piece of this foam. Oh, this is really thin. This is really thin. Very, very thin compared to the other one, like compared to this foam. Oh man, pretty thin. I might actually, this will be easier to cut, honestly. So this is what I want to do. I can see from I can see from the image over there that it's, um, it's a little, I can see black on the inside of it. Um, and so I see that on the inside and I'm thinking I want to do like a black shell on the inside and then red on the, or a black core on the inside and then shell on the outside. I think that'll probably work best for me. Plug it in my headphones real quick. They are running out of batteries. If they go out, the music does too. I don't want that. I don't want that. I like my music. All right. So now, let's, let's go to work. I think shell there. I also see on the back of the radio that there's like a little faux like port back there that looks like it would have screws into it. I don't think that's difficult to do. And there are a couple knobs on top and pokes in the front. 
I think those pokes in the front can probably be accomplished by a hole punch. I don't have a single hole punch. But I've got this one. I don't know if this will work very well. Oh gosh, look, it's been freshly uh, used apparently. Yeah, there. Bang. Got the little, little light things. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I have a single hole punch. Dears, do you happen to know if we have a single hole punch in the house? Because that would be awesome. If not, like, I guess I have a drill. Or, um, what else can I use to poke holes and things? Like, perfect small little holes. Or divots. We can always do divots. Only if I have one? Nah, I don't. Alright. That's okay. I will figure something out when we get there. I need the shell on the inside. I think I need to determine how big I want this radio to be. I think about this big is pretty good. I think this is big. Um, so I need something to use as the core of this radio. I have various things around the house that I could use. Perhaps a box. I'm gonna go look in my box collection and see if I have a proper box that would fit as the um, the internal here. Let me see. Let me see about that. Most of my cosplay stuff is me running around my apartment trying to find something that works. And I know we have a ton of boxes over here, like tiny box things. Tiny work. stumbled upon a little thing six times five little holes all black in the back that's correct the numbers from the bottom to top are seven eight nine ten what what are you referring to seven eight nine ten for on the on the radio itself is that what you're saying i found this little cage i think that could be the core i think that's a good size for a radio it's not too bad this will be the core i'll put the black on top of it and on the inside to support it and i'll put the red on top that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna do it. Alrighty then. Put my music back on my head. There we go. Lovely lo-fi. Maybe half the width on the radio. Okay, okay. Well, the, you realize the entire thing is the radio, right? So I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to. But I'm sure you will make yourself clear in a moment. Yes. Yes. Agreed. I agree with you, random citizen. Let's see about... Let me put some foam pieces on the inside to give it, like, some support. Just so it's not, like, bouncing around a bunch. Take out one box layer around the edges. That instruction's unclear. Decaught and ceiling fan. Make it a third less. I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to say there. You must explain yourself a little clearer, my dear. Take out one box layer around the edges. Box layer. See rectangles. Do you mean... Do you, hold with me. Do you want me to make the radio this only two squares thick? Okay, I think I see what you're saying. Yes, okie dokie. That's, that's what we'll do then. Dearest has decreed. This is technically her radio because she is Kiki. I think this would be better done with wire cutters. I have wire cutters. I think I'll grab wire cutters. This will be easier with wire cutters. So, my wire cutters it makes it more compact i completely agree with that you are a wealth of great ideas my dearest a wealth of great ideas let's cut it let's cut it up let's um i'm gonna do it in pieces oh really you're not gonna snap come on dude i thought surely you'd snap come on i guess i gotta do it a little closer Wow, these suck. For plastic, at least. It's okay. We'll make it work. Ah, 
Honestly, scissors are better. Skizzer. Haha, <laughs> much better. Skizzer. Skizzer. There we go. Much better. Now I gotta actually, like, bring it down to the right. Like, level. If I need better scissor... Sizers! Sizers! They're under your desk. Do be noticed. Thank you, dear. Honestly, if you need better scissors, I'd probably go to the kitchen ones. They're good. They're real good. Actually, you know what I'll do? Actually, I just had a better idea. So I'm gonna actually lean them inward. I'm not actually gonna cut them off. I'm gonna lean them inward. That way, they'll offer a little bit of support to the foam that will be placed on the other side. Just like a deal. I'm gonna use this as the as the thing. I actually once saw I saw a video a while ago of somebody making Howl's Moving Castle, another Miyazaki film, out of trash, and I was so inspired by that video. I was like, that is so cool. I would never be able to do that. Or actually, I probably would if I had the uh, if I had all that material laying around. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, the wire cutters kind of. The wires cutter the wire cutters offer a little bit something extra that the scissors don't. There we go. Need to cut those edges, edges off. Gotta cut them off. Bye bye. There we go. Bye bye. Um there we go. And I want what was that what was I doing? I cut these off of what did I just do? What was I just doing? I cut that off so I could do- ah, yes, so I could do this. This is- this is scissor time. This is better done for with scissors. There we go. Whoops! Plastic flying everywhere! I wanna cut, like, this as well. Come on! Come on! Skizzer! Come on! There we go. Piece off. And same thing over here. Bye. And bye bye as well. And bye bye as well. There we go. That should work. I just need to cut it off at the bottom. That's what I was doing. Cutting off at the bottom. There's two of them. Why? No, oh, okay. I got myself a little confused. But it's all good now. It is now all Gucci. It is all Gucci Gucci gumdrops. Only the Gucciest gumdrops in my candy factory. Oops. Flop out of the way. Uh, same thing over here. Now, usually when I do cosplay stuff in the past, I'd, like, sit down and, like, start watching television or something. But, like, this is, this is good, too. This is good, too. Now, I can use these the same way. Kind of use them as the base for the rest of the radio. Actually getting a little hungry again. I did eat dinner, but like, it's pretty much time for second dinner. To be honest, I had some leftover. What did I have? Mashed potatoes, some garlicky vegetables. Actually, I still have more of it in the fridge. I could totally heat that up for myself. Totally could. Totally could. Totally could. Let's try to see if I can. I got, I got a plan here. I kind of want to kind of lace these together in as best way that I can to give it some more structural stability. If I push them down like that, that's good. But I want to lace them together. So if I do something like... If I cut here, then I can actually take this little edge over here and wrap it inside the other one, giving it some more stability. At least on one side. Or maybe I want to do it this way. Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this way too. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go under here to lace it in underneath. This is probably like this is probably considered weaving. So I'm going to weave them together. I am going to weave it. I'm going to push these guys up through here and over. 
I can honestly, or I could, I mean, at this point, I could also use hot glue. I might as well just, I, I could definitely use hot glue to keep these things together. But honestly, that was, that was more fun. Eh, I kind of ruined it. Whatever. Hot glue. This is where we gotta fix things. Hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. Hot glue. Hot glue stick together. Yeah. Hot glue stick together. Plastic stick together. Hot glue. Hot glue, hot glue. Yeah. Why not? Get on there. You never know. You never know what you might need. A little bit of hot glue. Kind of place it together like that. I'll do the same thing over here as well. Kind of stick that down. And same thing over here. This stuff goes on the inside. Nobody's going to see it. Nobody's going to see it. On the bright side, too, I always like to take, like, photos of progress of stuff that I'm working on. And this stream is the progress video. It's actually us working on it. It's great. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. I need to put more hot glue down there. And then kind of pull it up through here. I'm going to hold that there for a hot second hot glue gun type of second <laughs> come on cool down cool down hot glue can't be hot for so long you gotta calm down at some point oh okay I touched it you know that'll work just fine nobody sees the inside anyways alright so this piece here can kind of go to the outside here That's not too bad. Can I get two pieces out of that? I might actually be able to get two pieces out of that. Let's see. Can I? Yeah, I think so. Double check that. Kind of cut half fish down the middle. All right. Not bad. How does that fit? That fits okay. Fits okay. Not that bad. I'll think for the center. I think I'm going to have these ones close to the edge, and then the other ones not so much. So, I think I'll like, I'll hot glue these to the sides, and then I'll like do some trimming to them as I put the red on it. Let's kind of cover this guy in. I am definitely, I might actually need more hot glue. But this is all we have in the house, so that's all I'm grabbing. This is all I got. I'll have to use other methods of stickiness. I'll use the hot glue while I can. Sorry, says Anna. Oh, that's no problem, dear. I didn't know about this going ahead. I, Like you said, I should read the docs before doing stuff. Should probably buy material before I, before I start getting worked on things. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. It's okay. We can't always have enough hot glue done. Hot glue in the house. Can't always. You can't always get what you want. Tap that on like that. Not bad. Not bad at all. It kind of looks a little rinky dinky right now, but it is. It'll come out great. Probably. Maybe. Now I've got some other scraps over here that might work for the sides here. Now, nah, actually, I'm, I'm going to take. I'm gonna take a full piece for these ones and cut that to size. I want that to be ideally perfectly square with these. Or maybe right smack in the middle. I think right smack in the middle. Right in between. I think we'll be good there. I'm gonna try to cut here. Cut upwards. There we go. Pop that down. This should fit in between these two little spokes here. That's close enough. It's close enough. Yeah, that's good. The red's gonna go over top of it anyway, so if I kind of miss some of the, the edges, that's I think that's all right. So long as you get the right idea. And I'll cut this about halfway. As well. That should give me enough space to the other side too. Let's give it a shot. Put some more hot glue on it. Let's go. Let's do it like this so I'm not like right up against the camera. 
I don't usually do arts and crafts videos like this, so if the camera angles are all wonky and weird, well, that's because it's my first time doing something like this. Hope to do more like it going forward with some electronics projects. Or uh, just just more cosplay stuff, I guess. Make that work. That's that's kinda that's kinda kinda okay. It's fine. It's fine. It'll work. One of the advantages I have about this fisheye camera is the fact that it is adjustable. I can adjust the focus on this one. It's a manual focus adjust. As opposed to the other one, which is like tries to trust its own focusing judgment and it's just it's just terrible. It's just terrible. It's no good. Alright. So I got that. I'll glue it in. I feel like I should like put stuff in there, but eh, I'm not gonna. To give it more structural support, that's actually pretty good so far. It's honestly pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kinda I'm gonna try to compress these in to make this as square as possible on the sides. Um, but I think I might just use like these sheets around. But I also need a little bit of black on the other side. Because at least on one side, at least on one side of the radio, there is the, um, there's the little black dots. So I have to have black on the inside of one of those sides. So I'm gonna go with this side. Just like that. What I'll do is I'll flip this over. I'm gonna make a little cutout or a little trace of what I got here. Let's try that. sides get it from the bottom and the top okie doke and then I'll cut that out as close to the edge as possible I know how to cut the black foam black foam is the hard one Yeah, that's one side, and continue on the cutting. And hopefully that sits more or less flush. I mean, I suppose if it's not, then that's fine. It's not super difficult to modify. And I might actually use that heat gun trick. Why did I cover all sides with black? Because I needed support with the... I don't know. Because I could... Because that was the plan. That was the plan all along, Sam. Plan, Sam. I'm not exactly sure. I don't really have a good enough reason for that. Does that fit inside of these guys? Actually, that fits really well inside here. Sorta. It's so... It's so... It's almost there. Let me... That works alright. Maybe that'll be the front. I mean, it's not... It's not completely square on all sides. So that would be the dis dis disadvantage of that side. So I kind of want it over here instead. Yeah, that that'll be that'll be the side. That'll be the side. So. Ooh, this whole glue gun got hot. Even the handle is hot. That's incredible. Not very user friendly. How am I supposed to grab the glue gun if the glue gun's hot? Like the actual handle of it. That's bad design. If you ask me. I don't like your glue gun, Anna. I like my own glue gun. But I'm gonna use it, because that's what we got. And it already had the glue inside of it. There we go. Like that. Kind of push to this. I'm gonna push the center, so that it's all flush with all the, uh, the glue stuff. Push that in there. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Honestly, what I may do now is apply the duct tape maneuver because I want these to sit more flush with each other and they don't right now. So I might just duct tape the rounds here just so I have it. That might might work okay. Might work okay. I also want to cut off the um I don't need these sides to be so tall. It's so actually what I'll do. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some tape. I'm gonna wrap it around all the way around to get things where I want them to be. There is no correct way to cosplay. If it involves duct tape, or in this case, gorilla tape, that's okay. 
I think that is totally fine. I just gotta make sure it goes more or less all the way around my thing. So let's get a big old, mm, a big old piece of tape. Yeah. Gorilla tape is strong like gorilla. I guess it's, it's tough. It's tough, man. Life's tough. And then I'm gonna. I don't want it that thick, so I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. And then. Just kind of like. That'll work. There's one strip. Now I need two. Let's do two. I'm going to put it on the back of this guy here. To start with. Will this work? I have no idea. We're going to find out. I'm gonna push this in over here to make this at the sides as flush with each other as possible. As flush as possible. The key word there being as possible. Might not be super possible. We're gonna try it. Let's go kind of push that inward and inward as well and try to do like a like this. Again, this part really won't be seen very much, so if it looks a little ugly, like, that is fine. Only, only the black on this side is going to be seen. Okay, time to go to this side. Yeah, it's kind of bent around a little bit. It's a little bent on out of shape. It's fine. Probably. Oh, the glue came off. Well, that's why we have tape. To, to cover the edge case of the glue coming off. Or the, the hot glue, just not doing what the hot glue do, do, do. Oh, goodness. And now the glue, is, the, the tape is stuck to itself. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Did I do that right? <gasps> All right. I hope the hot glue doesn't come off on the front part. That's okay. Okie dokie. Rest of the radio. I need... I need... The red shell across it. I also wanted to put another piece of... Like, at least that maybe a couple pieces of black in the center here. Just to kind of... You know... Push it off. Keep it... Keep it well. Keep it all well. Just so there's not like... Just so the red won't sink. The, the red is kind of thin, and I don't want it sinking into the center just because, like, I didn't put enough material here. So, I started covering it all black, so I had to keep it that way with bits and pieces. We're just going to use the bits and pieces we got. See? We got use for them. Got bits and pieces for... Bits and pieces for days. Gonna stick that in there. That should be all right. A little bit, finagle it, kind of, kind of compress. Nah, compressing not so good there. Let's not compress it like that. Let's just do it like uh, this instead. That's better. Put it to the side as well. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. I can also kind of it. In some cases, I can actually pull the foam across. I pull, pull the foam apart. It's kind of cool. It's so pliable. Such pliable materials. Trying to push that inside as best as I can. It's... It's eh. It's definitely eh. It's a rinky-dink job, but it might look okay once we cover it up. I'm just not going to worry about that side right now again. So now, I know Anna had provided for us how many numbers of how many holes? Six times five little holes. Yeah, six times five. 
six on the up, six, six on this side, and then five down this side. So let's, let's try that. I honestly think this would probably be the right point to use the heat gun. Because what I can do is I can lay the red on top, kind of fold it around and like tape it into place, and then use that. That might actually work pretty well. And I want this, I want this side to look the prettiest, so that's what we'll do. Um, I do need to put the holes in this though. So what I need to do is I need to flip this over once again. Hello, ugly side. Put this on top. This is the side that'll be going down. So I want to, again, do a little tracing. That way I know how much space I have to work with for the, for the holes. Then I'll kind of measure things out on the inside and poke them through. I need six in this direction and five in that direction, so I'm gonna grab my ruler. Where's my ruler at? I know I had it. I pulled out the ruler. But where did I put the ruler? Where is that around? Oh, ruler. Ruler, ruler, where are you? Oh, ruler. There you are. Found your ruler. So let's do some, do some maps. I got maps. Maps. Maps time. Calculator. It's maps time. Move these out of the way. Move the cable out of the way. Do some maps. We've got, and you know what's great? I can write right on the inside of the phone. Cause like, it's the inside. Nobody's gonna see that. We've got about four. It's about one, two, three, four and a quarter. Four, one quarter inch up this ways. We got about three and a half, three, one half inch. Just about, just about. So now if I have that many to work with, I want to split it into, if I have six dots, excuse me, in that direction, I have seven sections. So I'm going to divide 4.25 divided by 7. So about, about 0 0.61 inches per section. And then 3.5 divided by 5. 3.5 divided by 5 is about 0 0.7. So about 0 0.7 inches space between little blocks. So I want to make increments of those. I think those are better done in millimeters because I have millimeters on this too. So I'm going to do a little do a little Google search. Let's do my Google search. Uh, zero or... Oh, come on. Not Office 365. 0 0.61 inches to millimeters. That's about 15.5 mm. And let's do... 0 0.7 as well 0 0.7 inches to millimeters about 17 17 point eight millimeters nice just a little math math ain't that scary if you if you let if you let math be scary math will be scary we don't have to let math be scary so now uh, every Every 15.5 millimeters, I am going to make a mark. There's 15.5 about. Let's do 15.5 would be, let, let, let me, I can use my calculator again. 15.5 plus 15.5 will equal 31. So let's make a mark at the 31. Plus 15.5, that'll be 46.5, 6.5, right there. Plus 15.5, 6.62. We're looking a little uneven, but again, it's okay. Plus 15.5, 77, 77.5, there we go. Plus 15.5, 93. 93 and then that's the last one now down the other side 
17.8. Go down from here just about. 17, about here. Plus 17.8. 35.6. Just about, plus 17.8, 53.4, plus 17.8, 71.2, plus 17.8, and I think that's the last one, 8, 9, 8, 8, 9, yep, that's, that's about it, okie doke. So now there should be, I'll have a grid that I can draw, and I'll put dots in the middle of them. Some little lines across. A couple of lines, and I'll make a grid. Hopefully the grid is correct. I think I did the math all right. So, let's see. Okie dokie, that's five down. And same thing the other way. Measure twice, cut once. That's what I was taught. It's a little, it's a slight bit uneven, but I can use the power of my human eye and subjectivity to correct for that. All right. Now I got my dots. Now I got my area for my dots. So I'm gonna mark those with, I guess, a different color. Does this color work? Nah, that's a really bad color for that. Or my silver, there's my silver. So, dot, 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 dot. Let me just make those dots. Lovely. Honestly, the silver on red is a little weird on my eyes, but we got it. Two, three. Oh, actually. Come to think of it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I shouldn't be doing it in the center because I'm doing one too many. So I'm gonna follow these dots instead. The dots on the lines, not the dots in between the lines. Or rather, should they be? Oh, you know, one, two, three, four. Did I do that wrong? I might have did that wrong. This should have been divided by six. All right, I made a boo-boo. Cameron made a boo-boo, but it's okay, because Cameron makes boo-boos sometimes. Okay, 3.5 divided by six. That's what I should have been measuring at. So I'm gonna use, hopefully, a different color to correct for that. Apologies. That's 0.58. I need my converter tool again. 0.58 is 14.7. 14.7 mm. 14.7. Okay, okay. Different lines. Different lines, different lines, different lines. 14.7 is about back here. Plus 14.7. 29.3 is about here. 14.7. 44.1 is about here. 58.8. 73.5. And that's about that. Okay. Okie dokie. Need my ruler again. Why did I send it away? Don't send my ruler away. Now we do it like this. There's one. And there's the next one. There we go. The final dots. The real dots. The real dots of the show, which I'm gonna mark in black now for, for shoresies. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, okay. They should be right in the middle here. 
the cross between the purple line and whatever color that other line is. Those are where my holes are at. Those are where my holes are at. There we go. Those are all the holes I want. Now I'm going to pop those through. I'm honestly not sure the best way to do that will be. Kind of unsure of that. But I think we can do it. Let me think. I don't have a hole punch or anything. I don't have... I can't use my scissors for it. What do I have on hand? I could just, like, poke it. Like, just stab it through. I don't really like that idea. Because that's not really going to make a hole in it. That's going to make a... It's going to, like, puncture it. Could technically use a drill. I might have a... You know, I might have... A screwdriver bit that might kind of work for this. Let's, let me see. Let me look in my toolbox. A well, toothpick could also work, but again, I think that's just going to puncture it. I don't know if that's going to, like, actually be of much use. It might. It's very possible. I'm going to see what kind of screw bits I have. Here's my... New and improved screwdriver set. I can also sleep tonight and work on it tomorrow. I really don't have time to sleep tonight. I gotta get this done. Potentially. It might actually be really after buying a hole punch. You know, that's probably a better idea. You bring up a very good point, Disney Queen. Should probably do that. You know, I have a list of things that I need to complete the cosplay. It doesn't have to be totally last minute. So what kind of things do we need? Definitely need a hole punch. Gotta get a hole punch. Let's see, what else? Hole punch. Whoa, things are falling. Whoa, okay, okay, whoa, okay, whoa, all right. Everything decided to fall over on my right side, so I got a little thing. I need a hole punch. Hole punch? Hole punch? Hole punch and a couple other things. Well, the, one of the problems is like, I'm gonna have to con continue to do this radio stuff at home, but we got we got materials at home. You know, that's a good idea. It's like 12 o'clock midnight where I am. I do have work in the morning. So I think I might leave that here for now. What I will wind up doing is we will continue. Well, we will not continue this on stream. There'll be more cosplay stuff going forward. However, We'll have pictures of our... Well, Anna and I will make sure to post pictures of our cosplay adventures and stuff on our Instagram. Our cosplay Instagram, which can be found linked. Oh, uh, where is that at? Is that... Is that... Which which command is that? Let me see. Is it Insta? No, it's not on there. Okay, I don't think I have the Insta as a command on there, so don't worry about it. I think it's linked on the YouTube page somewhere. Actually, it might be linked below. I'm not exactly sure. We'll... It'll be up there for those who are interested in that. It's on Anna's channel. Aha! On Disney Cheat's channel. And that's where you can find it. That... That'll be where we ended today. In case you missed earlier... Where's my... Where's my notebook? Where did I put my notebook? Where did I put my drawing book? Cam. There you are. We also, earlier on, well, earlier on, we drew a little tribute to Chicory, a beautiful game, a beautiful, a colorful tale, and it was lovely, and I love that. Anyway, to everybody, to at all, that's, that's where it ends. I'm gonna stick my face in there. It was fun. We made glasses. Let me take those glasses off of you. Glasses were good. Made some glasses. And then I eventually will have a radio. For Kiki's Delivery Service. If you're heading to Gen Con, see you there. Indianapolis. Signing off from Philly, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Day. Evening. Whatever time it may be. That's okay. It's midnight over here, so it's time to sleep because I got work in the morning. I'm not used to saying stuff like that, but... Work in the morning. Well, uh... 
Bye, everybody.